Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This hearing is, is here by call to order. First, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of my uh, distinguished colleagues from the upper house, the vice chair of this committee, Senator Ronasan, and uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao. We have also in our midst a guest from the lower house, Congressman Elway Villaferte, uh, from the local government uh, committee, sa House of Representatives. <coughs> this is the third hearing, and hopefully the last, you know, before we <coughs> report out the committee report <coughs> sa plenary para sa deliberation. <coughs> this hearing is called in reference to the following measures <coughs> authored by this representation, Senate Bill Number 1470, <coughs> entitled an act creating the Philippine Charity Office. And Senate Resolution Number 577, which seeks to investigate in aid of legislation the recent controversies besetting the Philippine Charity Chief State's Office. <coughs> of the last two joint public hearings that we conducted, we resolved that there's really a need to amend the antiquated 83 year old charter of the PCSO to strengthen the agency's <coughs> mechanisms for accountability and to limit the discretion of its fund utilization. <coughs> yung mga na-established din doon, yung wetting operations remain unabated. No? And that's the reason why we invited <coughs> most of the poli police officials involved in the uh, eradication of illegal, uh, the legal numbers games. You know? And ito yung mga, mami, anyway, we will acknowledge you in a while. <coughs> also, uh, during the last hearing, we heard the sentiments of the different or the various uh, recipients of the PCSO's mandatory contributions. Ito something that we have to review also. Kasi sumama nyo dating earmarks. Uh, dumami ng masyado yung mga earmarks no? na halos malumpo na rin yung pondo ng PCSO because these are mandatory uh, with the passage, passage of uh, several special laws. <coughs> na take up din during the last hearings yung uh, uh, sa STL yung mga contributions to the different uh, agencies including uh, districts, you know? And uh, I remember I, <coughs> I raised the question kung paano maliliquidate kung sa mga congressmen papadala yung uh, share uh, from the STL. PNP, uh, fine, because it goes through the finance uh, center, di ba? And these are reallocated to the different uh, units involved in the operations and for other purposes. <coughs> and then third, finally, yung isang na... Uh, Ito rin mga salient, salient features, ano, na mga points na, nat, na discuss natin. We also discussed a plan for a nationwide online lottery system. And we'd like to find out from PCSO itself kung ano yung uh, view nila dito. Having said that, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of our resource persons head, headed by uh, the newly appointed chairman, Anselmo Simeon Patron Pinili. No. Uh, Good morning, welcome, and congratulations sa your appointment. The uh, general manager, Alex Balutan, <coughs> is also here. We also have the members of the board, <coughs> Attorney uh, Jesus Manuel Suntay. Good morning, sir. Ms. Sandra Kam, of course, is, uh, is also here. Sino ba ba yung uh, board? Ah, Mr. Marlon Balite, also a member of the board. <coughs> We also invited uh, and we acknowledged the presence of uh, our friends from the GCG. No, sila naman yung controlling no less. Kayo nagre yung mga reappointments o yung uh, co contracts ng mga board members, di ba? GCG. They, they will have to pass through GCG. Also, of course, the director, Jim Tupas, and director, Michael Pabalinas. <coughs> and our uh, representatives from DICOA, director Kabigting and Ms. Belen uh, Ladines. Uh, we also have in our midst Mr. Charlie Atong Ang you know, to, as a resource person. <coughs> and you mga PNP, kindly introduce yourselves and you, your designations. Please. Uh, so I'm Police Chief Superintendent Magawai from the Directorate for Intelligence. Okay. 
So, good morning po. I'm uh, Police Chief Superintendent Lorimer de Tanso from the Directorate for Controller Ship, sir. Good morning, sir. Senior Superintendent Walter Castilleros from the Directorate for Police Community Relations. Good morning, sir. Uh, Police Chief Superintendent Ron Molesa Petula, RD Region 1. Good morning, sir. Police Chief Superintendent Jose Mario Espino, uh, Regional Director PRO 2, sir. Good morning, Mr. Chair, to the members of the committee. I'm uh, Police Chief Superintendent Likup, Emmanuel Likup, and the RD of Bureau uh, of Good morning, Mr. Chairman and other members of the committee. I'm uh, Police Chief Superintendent uh, Mao Araplaska, uh, the Regional Director of PNP Calabarzon. Uh, good morning, sirs. I'm Police Chief Superintendent Eric Reyes. I'm from the Directorate for Investigation and Detective Management. Good morning, sirs. I'm uh, Police Chief Superintendent Wilbin Mayor from the Directorate for Operations. Good morning, sirs, ma'am. Uh, I am uh, Police Chief Superintendent Carlito Feliciano, the BRDA of uh, PRO6. Good morning, sirs. Uh, Police Chief Superintendent Corpus, uh, Regional Director, Central Luzon. Morning, sir. Uh, I'm Police Senior Superintendent Ronald D. Pangasian, Provincial Police Officer. Good morning, sir. I'm Police Senior Superintendent Romeo M. Karamat, Jr., the Provincial Director of Bulacan. Good morning, sir. I'm Police uh, Senior Superintendent Cecilia Isun, Jr., Provincial Director of Laguna PTO, sir. Good morning, sirs. I am uh, Police Senior Superintendent Jerry F. Biaris, the Provincial Director of Camarinisor Police Provincial Office. Everybody has been uh, recognized. Um, ito na yung rules of the game, ano? very gently, yung admonition. We are here to uh, amend the charter. Ano? This inquiry, parang inquiry na rin to, investigation, is in need of legislation, and we must always bear that in mind. Ano? Kung meron kayong mga pibs dyan o meron kayong gusto sabihin, uh, do it uh, in such a way na magkakaintindihan tayo, yung lalo, hindi yung lalo tayo magkakalabuan. It's just a gentle reminder. And if there are uh, resource persons who may wish to uh, make uh, some statements, opening statements, you may do so, but you're limited to three minutes. No? And after that, you will just have to respond to questions from the uh, senators or the members of the committee uh, present. And also, with the permission of my colleagues, uh, may I allow uh, Congressman Villaperte to also propound his questions, because he, anyway, he's also a member of the lower house. He's a legislator like us. So <coughs> with your permission, sirs, may I allow him to also propound the questions sa mga resource persons. So with that, <coughs> would you like to kick off? Okay. Good morning uh, to our chair, chairman of this committee, uh, Senator Laxon, distinguished members, uh, Senator Gringo and Senator Manny Pacquiao, resource persons here with us. Thank you for this opportunity, giving me time to make a presentation of uh, what is happening in Camarini Sur with regards to the operation of the AAC as authorized by the PCSO. Um, I will tackle basically uh, four issues on the agenda. <coughs> a background, various inf infractions of the STL IRR, conclusion and proposals. On, uh, just a, as a background, on February 22, 2017, Even Chance and PCSO entered into an agency agreement for small town lottery in the province of Camarini Sur. Even Chance undertook to, among others, faithfully and strictly comply with its duties and obligations as provided for in the STLR IRR and other rules and regulations that may be issued by the PCSO. However, even chance as an AAC has been committing gross violations of the duties and obligations outlined in the STL IRR. As early as July, the Sangarian Panilawigan of Camarini Sur has uh, passed a resolution imploring PCSO to cancel and revoke the franchise of Even 
violations due to various uh, IRR violations. <laughs> On August 2, Mr. Chair, numerous infractions of agents' chance was raised during the 2018 pre-budget committee hearing of uh, PCSO. On November 8, the PCSO, through General Manager, received a letter from my office uh, highlighting all the violations of the current AACs and to stop immediately the illegal operations of even chance. No response was received. So on December 7, I, I, I wrote a follow-up letter and no response was made. On December 11, a hearing was conducted by the House Committee on Games and Amusements regarding the alleged irregularities and abuses of even chance and urged the PCSO to swiftly act on violations of the IRR and various, various pertinent laws. We received a letter on December 19 uh, from PCSO G uh, GM Balutan saying that they are conducting an ongoing investigation. Today, Mr. Chair, even Shanks is still operating illegally in Camarini Sur. And despite uh, the overwhelming preponderance of evidence against it, which I will present later, uh, PSO, PCSO responded by they are still investigating the matter. The basic infractions uh, as outlined in the IIR basically is, number one, even chance through is accepting bets from minors who are evidently below 18 years of age. Can you play a, uh, may you permit me to play a video of a minor betting, you know, that's a minor uh, and the uh, even chance representative is accepting a bet. That's clearly a violation of the IRR. <laughs> and next slide, please. <laughs> this was committed not only once, twice, but hundreds of times in the town of Pasakao. If you can see, that boy in shorts is betting and the even chance representative is accepting. Next slide, please. Another a minor betting. Uh, Mr. Chair, if you will note, in an umbrella in a street, which is not allowed, because as per the IRR, not only minors are allowed to bet, uh, so there are even chance, as an AAC is only allowed to accept bets in authorized stations, not ambulant uh, mobile places. Next, please. Uh, this was all presented to PCSO as early as November. We had a hearing on November, December 11. And they say they were investigating, but, you know, no, no response. So December 19, we took we took the initiative again, December 19, and up to this day, they are still accepting uh, bets from minors. Can you imagine, no? Tapos nasa kali po, uh, na malinaw na mong bawal yan. So this is further supported, Mr. Chair, by sworn statements of residents, their parents, highlighting the date, time, place of where these uh, bets were being placed and where the violations took place. Uh, as you can see, Mr. Chair, uh, these are various affidavits uh, we took it upon ourselves uh, to give already the evidence because while PCSO is saying they're investigating, eh, malino na po, may affidavit, may picture, fully documented. So, uh, this is a clear violation of the IRR. Na sabi po, uh, only the STL games and other PCSO lottery products as maybe mandated or authorized only to individuals 18 years old and above. No bets must be accepted from minors personally or by other persons on their behalf. So without a doubt, the affidavit photographs and videos clearly and evidently show that even chance is selling tickets and taking bets from minors in violation of Section 18D of the STL IRR. Additionally, the Philippines is a state party to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. As such, our government is supposed to enforce its commitment in protecting our children from harmful influence with every undertaking possible. Even Shant is clearly not only in violation of STLIRR, but also our national and international laws. Second violations. Uh, even Shant is are collecting bets outside stations, substations. The following piece of evidence shows that Even Shant's supposed sales representatives are collecting bets outside the premises of its STL station and substation. As you can see in the photo again, this woman is taking uh, bets uh, outside of an authorized substation. Next slide. <laughs> Another proof that they're taking uh, bets in the streets, which is not allowed. Next, please. A uh, mobile uh, bet taker. Nakabator po. Namalino naman po sa guidelines that the uh, station or substation should be 
authorized and they should be 100 meters away from the uh, schools or places of worship. <laughs> uh, we, we presented this evidence as early as November. They have not acted despite the hearing. Again, on December 19, and continuously, they're still violating. Nakita niyo naman po, nagpapataya sa gilid ng uh, kung saan-saan po. Uh, next, please. These are, these, these are additional proof. And this did not happen only once. Ito, nagpapataya sa bahay niya, na hindi naman authorized. Yan, nakamotor. Uh, Pakiplay nga ng video ulit. Ito po, uh, can you play the video? Ito po, malinaw po. Nasa bisikleta siya. Mobile. Uh, you know, PCSO cannot claim that uh, the current operations of STL is uh, the legal gambling and uh, not working. But, you know, this is clearly working. Uh, you cannot... When, when you see that uh, this is not this is legal but lahat ng operation to illegal so these operations outside the vicinity of its STL operations and substations are tantamount to an author an unauthorized establishment of STL substations and substations clear violation at malino po sabi ng IRR an ASTL agency agreement may be suspended cancelled revoked or terminated on the ground of unauthorized establishment of substations hindi naman po nag-action ulit despite the preponderance of evidence. So, in view of the foregoing, even such authority to operate an STL should be revoked immediately and their bond forfeited. I've presented it numerous times, no action pa rin, Mr. Chair, uh, from the PCSO. Another violation as per the IR, that P uh, dapat po mag-comply ang AAC sa PCSO prescribed uniform and ID. <laughs> Ito po mga patunay Nakita niyo naman yung babae, walang ID, walang uniform, uh, hindi po sumut sila sumusunod sa prescription ng PCSO IRR. Next please. Ito rin po, hindi na kayo uniforme. Uh, na malino naman that sales force and other employees with PCSO prescribed uniforms and identific identification cards must be strictly worn and prominently displayed when they are on duty. <laughs> so without a doubt, the sales force and other employees of even chance are not wearing PCS or prescribed uniforms and IDs in violation of his duties and responsibilities under the STL IRR. Fourth violation, P uh, even chance issues tickets not within PCS or prescribed form and design. <laughs> Next, ang PCS or prescribed form na sa kaliwa, ang ginagamit po ng even chance na sa kanan, gumagamit po sila ng ganyang form na may QR code on the right na identical. You know, when you use a QR code, it should not be identical. It should be distinct. Tapos, uh, Mr. Chair, I will also provide you a cop copies. Ito po ang mga, aside from that, ito po, Mr. Chair, ang ginagamit nilang uh, pataya na malino naman po na hindi prescribed form. Wetting po to, wetting po. Hindi to uh, legal po. Uh, Saka each violation po is one act of falsification. And this, uh, since this is government, this is co-approved, uh, malino po. At uh, nung nag-hearing po kami sa Congress, <laughs> ang sagot po ng PCSO, nagulat po kami, dinidepensa nila, sabi po nila, baka hindi naman taga-event chance yan. So if we took it upon ourselves, malino po, ayun po, nagpataya, may ID, yun yung illegal na form. So, maliwan na po. Kami na po we're doing uh, the job. Uh, sabi nila kasi hindi raw baka illegal raw. Go, please. Eh, maliwan po yan. May ID. Next, please. Uh, yung may ID ng pataya, may pangalan, we will provide this committee the time, date, place of when it happened. And dyan din po. So, ito na po yun. Uh, hindi, you cannot deny. You cannot deny the fact that even chance employees are the one uh, uh, issuing illegal tickets. So again, malino pong violation. Section 22 of the STL IRR provides that AAC shall use official tickets receipts either printed by the PCSO or AAC in accordance with the prescribed form and design of PCSO. Even Shans has been committing the crime of falsification for each instance of using the non-prescribed form which the Commission on Audit approved. <laughs> Number five, fifth violation. Even chance, as the AAC of the PCSO, <laughs> fails to remit the agreed 
PMRR. On February 22, 2017, PCSO entered into an agency agreement with Even Chance showing an agreed PMRR of 124 million 413525 per month. Based on the record submitted to us in the Committee on Games in Congress, first month remittance ng Even Chance instead of remitting 124 million as per agreement, <laughs> ang nirimit lang po nila Mr. Chairman, is 154,000. So from March to October po, my source for ang dapat na remit po ng even chance is 995,308,200 million pesos. Ang na remit pa lang ng, ng even chance is 101,738,444 or a shortfall of 893,569,756 million as of October only. If you will compute siguro as of uh, December, may get some billion na po na defraud sa gobyerno. <clears throat> At nakalagay po sa IRR nila that the branch office should remit within five days uh, to the PCSO if they have not remitted on time uh, as per commitment. Within five days, nakalagay po doon. Eh ano po, mag-iisang taon na po. Uh, walang action. And ma nakakalungkot, <clears throat> Yung Pangasinan AAC po was revoked due to non-remittance of PMRR. And ito ang marinis po AAC nila. Malino naman, hindi nakaka-remit. Yung records galing sa inyo, <laughs> hindi pa rin yung nire-revoke at yung bond hindi fino-forfeit. Nakalagay po, the cash bond shall be forfeited in the event that it is duly established that the AAC is in default of its obligation under its authority. Hindi po sila mag-iisang taon na po, default na po. Wala kayong aksyon, hindi nyo ni-revoke, hindi nyo finofit ang bank. At malilo rin sa IRR nyo na pag hindi nagbayad, aside from forfeiting the bank, dapat i-replenish yan ng, ng AAC. So hindi nyo na finofit, hindi nyo pinareplenish, continuous ang violation. At nakakatawa po na ang agreed <coughs> PMRR po is 124 million but PCSO unilaterally on their own decision in violation of the agreement lowered the PMRR, Mr. Chair. Based on the last hearing, ang sabi nila, hindi na raw 124 million ang PMRR. Sila na po ang decision na 61 million na lang raw. Despite I have, uh, I have uh, uh, assigned the certification that it's 124. But let's see that in adjust nila yung PMRR. Let's say it's uh, allowed, although it's not allowed. The government was still defrauded the amount of 393 million from March to October alone. So, and the PCSO board cannot unilaterally lower the amount of the PMRR because Section 16 says, pag provisionary test run lang, ang sabi, non-negotiability of the PMRR. Hindi kayo allowed na magbaba ng PMR dahil based on the rules you've set, it's non-negotiable. But in the budget, in the hearing conducted in the House Committee on Games, you were under oath, on record, you said that since probationary, you're allowed to lower it. So, you're violating all your, your own rules. So, then, sixth violation po. It does not remit charges due to the government. May breakdown yan ang mga Jews na dapat marimit sa munisipyo, sa probinsya. I will provide this committee certifications issued by the various treasurers of uh, various municipalities. Nandiyan ba ba? Ito po, mga certification from various treasurer na hindi nila ng PCSO nag-i-remit ng what is due them. So again, in violation of their own IRR. Sa probinsya rin ng Camarinesu, hindi rin sila nag-i-remit. Ang sabi po nila dun sa hearing sa Congress, under oath na nag-remit sila, may certification po sa amin na hindi sila totally nag-remit. Then number seven po, <laughs> operations of even chance and AACs across the country <laughs> does not secure business permit for its, for its operations. Ang sabi po ng PCSO, since the AAC are only new agents of the PCSO, and they are extensions of the PCSO, they are not allowed, they are not mandated to get business permits. And the basis for that is meron na silang Supreme Court decision
decision na pinakaralan po ng abogado namin, wala naman pong Supreme Court decision saying that they are exempted. They are quoting the case Basco versus Pagcor nang sabi ng Supreme Court nun, exempted ang Pagcor from local taxes and permits pero malino po sa charter nakalagay po yun ng, ng, ano, ng uh, Pagcor. Doon sa RP 1169 and 1869. Pero sa PCS Charter, yung Republic of 1169, wala namang pong provision saying that they are exempt from taxes. And yet, they insist on saying that they are not uh, allowed. They are not, uh, the AACs are not allowed. They are not uh, required to get. So, malino po. And Mr. Chair, I would like to also give you the draft executive order uh, from the office of the president saying that AAC should comply with business permits. Despite the stand of the PCSO saying that hindi kailangan ng business permit sa locality, na malino naman nakalagay sa local government code, not any business activity within the jurisdiction should up get a business permit. Ang stand ng PCSO, hindi rin kailangan, but uh, the League of Provinces uh, was provided a draft copy of the draft executive order of the president for signing na saying na kailangan mag-comply. So what I'm saying is, eh, the AACs have been operating since January last year without business permits, again in clear violation of the local government code and other pertinent laws. So, ang gusto ko rin point out as number eight, <laughs> in a wide po ng STL, sa even chance <laughs> as an AAC, despite the fact that it was recommended by the ano ba yan? S, SMG na disqualified sila. S ang sabi, disqualified daw sila dahil hindi din nila na-meet yung criteria for PMRR. And when we ask the PCSO then, why did you still award it to them despite the disqualification? They said that the board, it was the board decision. So, disqualified in a word, ngayon hindi nakakamit ng PMRR, and you still continue, let them continue. And uh, malino po dun sa, sa qualification nyo, sa um, IRR, that 50% of the qualification for awarding uh, an AAC is the PMRR. And yet, despite the fact that they have not met the PMRR in a while, you know, and if you can see, ito, paki, ano nga, next slide. Ito po, na, uh, ito galing document sa PCSO. Ang nagbig po sa Camarine Sur, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven companies po ang nag-bid. Uh, yung Lucky V Prime, ang PMRR, PMRR po nila is 155 million. Yung BHRO Lottery, 88 million. Concord Amusement, 88. Fair, Fair Waste Management, 79. Even Chance, 61 million, DQ nila. Hal Sion, 100 Corporation, DQ, 70 million. STEM Gaming Corporation, 350 million, <laughs> DQ. Ang pinakamababang PMRR dito, Even Chance, eh kinawag pa rin ninyo. So, uh, you know, Napakaraming chance naman na binibigay niyo sa even chance. So, significantly, you know, the PMRR criteria because it shows the heaviest weight in the de definition of the most responsible proposal. And yet, even chance, despite not meeting the criteria, was awarded. So, you know, uh, Mr. Chair, based on the you know, overwhelming preponderance of evidence against even chance, they have without doubt repeatedly violated and still violating STL implementing rules and regulations. Even Shant is clearly engaged in illegal gambling in the guise of operating a lawful S STL. These badges of wetting operations demonstrate that Even Shant is actually engaged in an illegal numbers game which constitutes a ground to revoke, suspend, or cancel its authority to engage in SDL under Section 27I of the STL. So, uh, I, I, I strongly believe, Mr. Chair, that this is not only happening in Camariso. This is happening nationwide. The government is being defrauded, a lot of laws being violated. PCSO, by saying that the AAC are their agent in their extension, by that legal definition alone, if you allow your agent to violate,
then you are violating, you are liable. So, you know, as uh, workers in... Uh, that was supposed to be my first question. Eh. Could this be microscopic? It would be possibly representative of what's actually happening in the... Uh, in all the areas na may nag ng STL. Please respond, Ms. Yeso. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, General uh, Manager Alexander Balitan, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, <coughs> uh, all the violations that was mentioned by uh, the Honorable Representative Luis uh, Raymond Villapuerte, uh, we are not tolerating that for the record. In fact, uh, immediately after the last uh, congressional meet, uh, hearing last uh, December, we summoned the PNP to uh, and asked them to uh, investigate these violations. Uh, uh, because uh, as far as uh, we are concerned, uh, kami po ay walang uh, police power, the PCSOS, na uh, law enforcement authority. So we just coordinate with other law enforcement agency like the NBI, PNP, CIDG, uh, even uh, we asked the, uh, the uncles of the Philippines in, in intelligence dealer to look into this because uh, nahihirapan po kami to uh, really uh, tingnan po ano talaga yung mga violation nito. But uh, for the record, uh, Mr. Chairman, that we are not tolerating anything that is violative of the IRR. And, uh, I understand that uh, the questions that was raised by uh, Honorable Villaporte uh, is now at the court. Uh, meron pong uh, case na yun uh, in the laws against the even chance uh, versus uh, uh, versus the LGUs. Uh, I think 23 uh, years. Uh, and it's ongoing, sir. It's ongoing, Iran. Well taken, no? pero nasa inyo pa rin yung ultimate responsibility kasi yung reg kayo yung regulatory. Eh. You okay. can just point to the PNP. Yes, sir. Uh, for not doing their job you know, uh, in the area of law enforcement. Kayo pa rin yung uh, ultimately responsible kasi kayo nagre-regulate. Kayo nag-issue ng, uh, ng yeah. ano ito ba tawag doon? License ba yung nation nyo? Ah, contract? authority, sir. Authority. Authority, the, so, yung, authority uh, to operate, sir. Yeah, authority to operate. Magkano ba yung, anyway, nandito na rin si uh, dating governor naman siya. At nandito rin yata yung provincial director ng CAMSUR, hindi ba? Okay. Magkano ba talaga actual daily gross collection sa Camerino Sur? Yung actual, huwag na muna itong uh, PMRR. Based on our own uh, source or sources, ang, uh, ang daily, ano doon, please correct me if I'm uh, wrong, ano, 5 million a day. Malaki yung Camsur eh. Nasa mga 5 million a day. So kung 5 million a day, easily 150 million a month. So why would ever chance be given uh, that leeway to submit uh, a PMRR of only 61 million pesos a month? So we're losing uh, at least 90, 80, 90 million easily, di ba? In in uh, in revenues. Well, talking of gross, uh, gross collection. So, Kamsur PD, sa pagalam mo, magkano ang uh, daily collection yan sa Kamsur? Uh, the monitors, uh, based on their uh, papers I am uh, handling now, so uh, for the month of May, a total sales. Uh, hindi yung based on what you have, kasi official yan eh. Ang tinatanong ko yung actual, based on the actual collection, even before the STL uh, was allowed to operate. No. Yes sir, uh, pero uh, 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 yung based on intelligence uh, uh, 5 million sir, no, sir. 5 million, di ba? Opo sir. So, si? Pisa, so, yes. Pisa, uh, sir, uh, yung ano, kasi kawawa naman yung police, eh. every time na may hearing, sinisisi yung police. Pero malinaw naman po sa section 21 that, uh, that uh, any illegal gambling related activities should be reported immediately to the PCS or, or any of its branch office, the conduct, presence, or existence of any illegal and authorized gambling. Nasa mandate niya yan eh. Uh, din, saka, nireport mo ho namin tumutagal. And uh, uh, with all due respect, uh, General, when you say you don't tolerate, it's been going on every day since the past. Saka, Mr. Chair, I would like to clarify, uh, yung sinabi po nilang kaso. The kaso, the mayors filed a uh, uh, TRO and now under injunction on the basis of uh, the need to
to uh, uh, for the AACs to apply for a mayor's permit. Yun lang po yun. So iba po yun. It does not stop the PCS from acting on this allega uh, on these uh, allegations or uh, evidences. Despite the PRO being uh, done, iba po yun eh. Kasi when you say may case na, hindi na kami makagalaw, iba po yun. That issue is different. The issue being raised now is uh, waiting is uh, being conducted. And uh, sad to say, may ayok na ginagamit ID. And going back to the point of me, the chairman, mga 5 million po a day, yan talaga. But, hindi nga na report directly because how can you, how can you, ano, how can the PCSO, the COA, and the agencies monitor kung ang ginagamit na for papelitos kung talagang gusto natin stamp out ito e eh dapat ang um, yan uh, uh, monitor digital galing sa POS mobile handheld terminal na pag kaya like loto direkto sa central terminal because sabi ko nga if it works like a duck works like a duck it's a duck so meaning kung inaalaw nyo yung waiting mag-upload sa ganyan mga sa papelitos ni analog ng mag uh, lahat ng proseso ginagamit ng waiting noon yun din ang nangyari waiting yun Mr. Chair thank you po uh, with the permission of Senator Soto kasi ikaw naman yung uh, chairman ng Covid-19 rules we uh, suspended the rules to al and allow uh, Congressman Villaperto to also ask questions you know? uh, it's uh, unnecessary he, he, uh, being a member of Congress uh, of the House of Representatives, um, is, even the plenary session is uh, they are even allowed in the plenary session. Thank you, Honor. Thank you. you know what was presented uh, is very relevant and important. Just sit in a nothing issue. The issue at hand is, you know, if we are to incorporate in the bill that we are about to report out the floor. Yung operation ng STL, we must plug all loopholes. Kasi kung papayagan natin, ibabatas na natin ito, and you're not able to address all these uh, problems, all these concerns, then we might not as well uh, allow the operation of STL. Hindi ba? It makes sense. Hindi nyo kayang i-contain, uh, i hindi nyo kayang i-control. Why would we uh, incorporate the operation of STL sa bill na itatakil sa floor? Ako rin naman question dyan doon pagdating ng uh, interpolation, di ba? Because I cannot justify a PMRR or a submission of ever chance na uh, 6 to 1 million contrary to what the provincial director himself has uh, testified na 5 million a day. So kung 5 million a day, simple arithmetic, eh, di ba, 150 million. So kami rin isul pa lang yan. Kaya ang tanong ko nga, representative ba ito ng nangyayari all over? So, we must be losing billions of pesos. So, for example, in a month, ngayon, sa existing operation ng STL based on PMRRs, magkano yung gross uh, monthly? The whole, the whole, the whole area. We are averaging uh, 1.7 billion a month. Uh, 1.7 billion a month. No? Kung susundin natin yung nandito rin yung ano, and this may be validated by them, ano, daily gross collection, ano, NCR, nasa mga 30 to 34 million. Daily, ah. Car, 8.4. Region 1, 22. More or less, 20, 22. Region 2, nasa mga 14, 15. Region 3, 40 to 45. Region 4, nasa mga 50 million. Regional ito ang collection. 4B, nasa mga 7, 7.5. Region 5, nasa mga 19. So, pag tinotal mo ito, easily, monthly, this is 6.05 billion compared to 1.7 billion that you're actually uh, uh, receiving now, hindi ba? From, uh, from your AACs. So, imagine, if you're losing 4 billion a month, in, in gross, we're talking gross here, ano, para apples to apples, ang laki na nawawala. Not even half uh, nung uh, potentially na co-collect, eh, hindi, hindi na co-collect. So, kindly... That's correct, sir. Uh, we, are, we are in the business uh, since uh, 2016, uh, kalang po na kami ng report. Uh, nakakasuntaon pa lang higit. Kaya we acknowledge that there is still a uh, 
uh, they need to improve the uh, our RR especially. But the PMRR is that uh, we computed that kinumpit po namin sa, sa population eh. And they are green. 30% of the voting population sa 2016, then 750 per day because there are three uh, drops, 250, 250, and 250, then 30 days, that's the minimum. So that's the computation, sir. But uh, the actual uh, uh, gross of the AACs that we have to agree or kailangan maimbestigan po yan para malaman talaga natin kung magkano ang kinikita ng mga AACs na ito. So they are on test period for one year and we will uh, again convene the board and the SMG to look into this because marami na po kami uh, nakalinga for disqualification uh, sa AACs natin for not fulfilling the uh, uh, PMRR and uh, other violations uh, of the IRR. Yun po yung uh, as of now, uh, I need the help of everybody to uh, determine really the, uh, the exact uh, earnings of the uh, provinces and the chartered cities. <coughs> Senator Pacquiao is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to clarify um, the, about the... Anong uh, solusyon ninyo dito sa... Nagbigay tayo ng uh, permit of the STL, and especially in uh, NGR Santa City issue, na may... Uh, hindi ito uh, local bila kundi national ito yung uh, may R8 na pinasa nila na lahat na mag-operate ng STL sa, sa lugar ng Jensen ay kailangan ng approval ng sanggol yun. Eh, ngayon, nagkakaproblema yata doon because they operate without informing the local government and uh, uh, approval by the council. So, ano yung gusto ko lang malaman kung ano yung uh, action na ginawa ninyo dito sa, sa problema na ito. Yes, uh, Your Honor, uh, Senator Pacquiao, I just had a meeting with the uh, OIC Secretary Ed Anwar yesterday <coughs> and we discussed this one. Apparently, there is a uh, <coughs> charter the uh, city and to John Santos City. Yes, there is yes. a separate uh, law separating uh, John Santos. Uh, though there is a conflict there. No? Hindi natin may define po yung uh, role ng ating uh, uh, local government units as against the uh, 1169 Republic Act na namin that uh, this is a state lottery and we are following the state law. Uh, kaya naintindihan po na namin kahapon na kailangan iripaso ito at uh, alamin kung gano kalawa ang uh, control ang uh, i-regulate ba ng, uh, ng LGU ito o saan ba sila uh, saan ang hangganan nila din po ang gray air natin that's why I think uh, we are drafting the uh, executive order to be signed by the president uh, in order to uh, uh, clear this issue uh, once and for all yeah. what happened there is uh, we uh, operate without um, informing the ca the the Council of Jensen and the local government and that means uh, they violated the charter, the, the law. Tama ba? The local government code. Um, uh, yes. Uh, tapos, uh, kaya kasi kailangan aksyon na ito dahil uh, nag-away-away ang, ang, ang Siyempre, yung PNP na nalalagay sa gitna. Di ba? Yung, yung PNP natin nalalagay sa gitna. Kung sino susundin nila, may mag-instruct na ipa-stop. May mag-instruct naman na, na wag i-stop. So, ayaw natin umabot doon sa madugong awayan. Gusto natin i-settle ka ba at ma maintindihan nila kung anong dapat sundin. Anong, anong uh, batas ang sundin. Pero, ang local government, wala silang problema kung nagpaalam lang sila. Kasi, may, illegal naman yun eh. Illegal naman yung STL eh. Ang problema lang, 
may uh, local code lang talaga na kailang sundin nila, kailangan lang magpaalam. Which is, nauna pa ito bago pa mag-operate ang STL. Uh, we have been coordinating uh, with uh, the uh, <coughs> mayor, mayor of uh, John Santos. Uh, we understand that uh, na-insert po dun sa provisions of the creation of uh, John Santos uh, City Charter na may provision dun po na uh, they will not allow any uh, numbers game gano'n natin ang pagkakasulat po dun. At uh, yun ang nare-recognize namin in the first place we send a letter to the uh, good uh, mayor for uh, the EACs there to operate uh, in the city. So naghingi po kami ng pahintulot na katatlong basis na uh, this is supported by our, our personal uh, 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 letter to the uh, council asking their permission. Tatlong basis na po kami sumunod sa kanila. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Kasi sana, pasimula pa lang yun ang tanong, tanong ko. Uh, gusto ko nalaman ano ang PCSO at para saan ang PCSO. Gusto ko lang kong nalaman kung uh, ma-explain at marinig ng taong bahay kung anong purpose ng PCSO, why PCSO is existing, why PCSO is there, para saan ang PCSO. Uh, In a nutshell, the PCSO is mandated to uh, uh, generate funds for the uh, charity services of the government. Uh, uh, basically, ganun po yung uh, essence ng 1169 uh, revised. So, yun po. Kung uh, may ikukwento lang po ako ng konti, uh, in 2006, uh, Marami na po nag-attend uh, dito ni Tigil ang uh, Huateng and other legal members game like Masyao, Suartes, and Pares. In 2006, uh, everybody was in agreement that this illegal members league cannot be stopped or uh, uh, minimalized ng iba lang. So, kinirate ang STL at ang sabi doon, uh, all illegal members game uh, should be uh, ipapasok natin sa STL. At ang kung mamasyawan yan, Xertes, Pares, etc., etc., ang magiging uh, generic name nyo nyo is STL. So that the government can collect um, what we call ingreso or uh, a fund for the uh, charity services of PCSO. So dun po nang gagawin ng ating uh, uh, binibigay sa ating mga makikirap, nang hindi ng tulong araw-araw sa nakapila sa PCSO. So... Uh, inabot na po ito ng 10 years uh, since 2006 nung pumasok po kami, andun pa rin yun. And uh, we believe, uh, as a uh, matter of fact, that uh, ginamit po itong STL as a legal front ng ibang uh, mga uh, mga naglalaro. So yun ang hinahanap po namin. Uh, yung mga, ibinig namin yung original 18 uh, AECs, especially those in Luzon, And uh, napataas namin hanggang 20, then naging 54 po ito, kumalap na up to uh, Mindanao. Now, uh, the AEC is operating the whole country is uh, 83. We have uh, approved 92. So, we expect that uh, this year, 92, 92 AECs na po ang mag nationwide. So, in just, uh, uh, for the information of everybody, in just... Uh, Three months, 2016, uh, September to December, we were able to collect 1.7 billion. And then by the end of 2017, uh, this year, from uh, 4.7 billion in uh, 2015, now we, uh, we uh, generated 15.8 billion uh, by the end of 2017. All in all, the uh, PCSs were able to uh, increase the revenue from uh, 37.4 billion in 2016 to 52.8 billion or 52.98 billion this year. That's our record. That's record high and uh, PCSO is uh, very uh, thankful for that. With the information of Senator Pacquiao, very quickly, are you saying na kung hindi natin ili-legalize, hindi pwede mahinto yung illegal numbers game? Is that your conclusion? Maaari, siguro sir, at uh, nahihirapan po lahat yung law enforcement natin dito to call the illegal numbers. So, yung conclusion game. is, hindi kaya ng law enforcement uh, kung mananitiling illegal? Uh, they have the authority to I, say that, sir. Uh, I may have to disagree. You know? When I was provincial director of Laguna, 
I was on my way to eradicating wedding there. Ano? Kaya yes, lang na-transfer na ako sa PACC, Presidential Anti-Crime Commission. When I was GPNP, we were also on our way to eradicating wedding. No? In spite of all the problems existing at that time. Hmm. It all boils down to right. hmm. diba, law enforcement. Yes, sir. Pag hindi tumang tumanggap ng lagay yung law enforcement, matitigil yan. Pero pagka kakutsa bahay law enforcement dahil may lagay, hindi talaga aarestuhin. We have records to show your honors that uh, pagka gumagalaw po ang ating uh, mga kapulisan, ang ating NBI, hindi increase din po ang ating uh, ingreso. We have records to show that uh, our revenues uh, increase if mapursige po ang ating law enforcement. Thank you, Senator Pacquiao. Thank you. Um, how much percentage na napupunta sa charity do yung binanggit ng koleksyon ng ng, ng PCSO? Uh, we have a separate report on this if uh, we will be allowed to present in seven, eight minutes, sir. Uh, but in a nutshell, uh, the uh, sharing is that uh, uh, the whole pie, 30% uh, for charity uh, fund, 55% for the uh, uh, price fund na binibigay po natin sa mga nanalo, and 15% for the operating fund. Uh, so yung 52.98 uh, uh, billion this year, maghahati-hati ang puwan, uh, but uh, tatanggalin pa yung mga taxes na kina natin, uh, yun po sa amin. We have, uh, we have paid about 7.8 billion this year, and uh, we are updated, sir. Binaram po namin din yung aming mga arrears and penalties uh, the previous years, previous administration. And we are up to date. Uh, ngayon nga, uh, ang problema natin doon, yung tax naman po, uh, yung train. We are, uh, the government is imposing about 20% of all the, in all our, uh, our gaming. Mr. Chairman, Senator Soto, what about the uncollected? Ganyan. Yeah, yung po yung problema natin. So, uh, this is a concerted effort of everybody. No, I mean, uh, dun sa mga winnings na hindi no, we, hindi it, claim. It reverts uh, back to uh, charity fund. Uh, that's in the charter po. Bo, 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 bo lahat po yan. For example, uh, one year po yung binibigay namin para makulik niya yung uh, kapanalo niya. Then, uh, after one year, but in the we revert back to the, 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 fund, the winnings, revert back to charity fund as per charter. percentage of unclaimed of your 55%? Uh, unclaimed. There while you're thinking, while you're thinking, also, Mr. Chairman, there used to be a law during the Batasang Pambansa days that um, unclaimed uh, of PCSO, unclaimed winnings of PCSO or prices, go to the Ministry of Human Settlements. Yeah. After that, there was a law that uh, gives it to the Dangerous Drugs Board. So, um, the, how much have you given to the Dangerous Drugs Board? Uh, as per our mandatory contribution, it's eating up our charity fund, it's more or less 20% of the 30% of the charity funds. Kaya ang laki po ng uh, kakain po ng mandatory uh, contribution na, namin. Today, uh, Chair, Boy Scout of the Philippines, Girl Scout of the Philippines, uh, meron pa sa crops, insurance, etc., etc. Well, I think, uh, 20 something. Uh, sa prices, yeah, pero sa unclaimed. Unclaimed, uh, do have a... Uh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Perhaps I'll, uh, we, we yeah, can get the sab figures. Sab lang yung yeah, yes, yeah. By the way, we invited other resource persons, and we would also like to hear from them. Ano? Uh, umalis si uh, Ms. Kam. But we want to hear from uh, Mr. Charlie. Mr. Chairman, can I just ask uh, in relation to the question of uh, Senator Pacquiao? <laughs> because based on the records as provided by uh, PCSO, now over 90% of the AACs are not complying with the PMRR. Is that correct? Uh, except those, uh, I think, 18 to 20 uh, AACs. Uh, so they are uh, at least eight, over 80% are not fulfilling yeah. that. Mm. But the um, question ko lang po, uh, Mr. Chair, is 
malinaw naman po sa Section 17 that failure of the AAC to comply with any of its obligation shall be a ground to cancel and forfeit the cash ban. Ang tanong ko, bakit ba nyo hindi kinoforfeit yung cash ban? I-replenish nila or i-cancel nyo sila? I mean, why, why, why are you foot dragging? Malino po yan eh. Kasi as mentioned by Senator Ping, we should be collecting instead of 1 billion a month ba? 6 billion? I mean, lahat ng 80 per, over 80% of the AACs are not complying eh. With, uh, no. So what's the point of the agreement? For example, Kamsur, ang agreement, 124 million. What's the point of an agreement kung hindi naman ipapakumply yan? At, di ba po, uh, please answer that. Uh, we have a test run for one year, no? pero we have sent letters to the AACs not complying with uh, their PNRR. Uh, I understand uh, we have five now na na sinula pa namin yung ikukumpiskate na namin yung Pero Mr. Chair, uh, malino rin, uh, we don't like that uh, reasoning na sinasabi nyo may test run na galing rin sa IRR nyo na negotiable ang PMRR pag probation. Diba ko, nakalagay sa IRR na yeah. probation test run na negotiable ng PMRR. So wh why will you lower the PMRR on your own well, as you said that you cannot lower it? Nilower po. Wala po kami nilower. Sa Kamsu po, sabi niyo 61 million. It's 61. I have here a certification signed by you that it's 124. Ang PMRR. Sana ho, ang doot ang mga resource person. I have here a signed letter from you. I will provide the committee. The one point of point is, Your Honor, is Matangbas. Ito po, Mr. Chair, I will give it to you, signed by him. Ay, na 124 po ang PMRR. Ngayon nilo... Why don't you read it? Uh, ano po, uh, nakalagay po dito in your letter dated June 8, Congressman Luis Raymond Villaforte, dated June 8, 2017. 2017. Dear Congressman Villaforte, in reference to your letter dated May 24, we are providing you a copy of the following documents. One, STL agreement between even chance. Two terms and conditions, three certification issued to even chance as the sole STL authorized agent corporation in the province of Kamisa, including Naga City. Ito na po. Sabi niyo po, we would like to inform you that the approved presumptive monthly retail receipt of the said STL PAC is 124,413,525. Thank you for your continued support to pieces of very truly your sign, Alexander F. Belutan, General Manager. Can you, will you confirm or deny that? By the way, <laughs> you, you've been sworn, di ba? Ano yung salita ng oath mo na in the previous hearings? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You continue to uh, testify under the same oath? <laughs> yes, sir. And by the way, those who uh, have appeared or, uh, in today's hearing for the first time, ano, kindly stand up, mabuti na lang yung uh, under oath kasi mayroon mga conflicting uh, statements. Yung mga naka-oath na before, Never mind, because uh, you're still covered by the same oath. Yung mga hindi pa nakapag-oath, uh, kindly, come sec. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in the Senate inquiry? Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So Alex, kindly respond to this. Do you want to see it? Mr. Chairman, while he's uh, waiting for the, ano, the paper, nakamagi rin sa Section 10 ng IRR, the branch office shall have the following duties and function. Supervise STL operation and ensure compliance of this IRR by the AAC with reference to the following. Section 10 AI, self-performance in relation to the PMRR and in the performance should be reported within five working days to the consult BOS department for the issuance of proper notice. Within five days of non-compliance po. Please respond. Do you confirm or deny uh, signature uh, uh, Apparently that is my signature, but I will, uh, I will uh, refer to uh, my records. Uh, Mukhang nagkamali sila dyan. Uh, Mr. Chairman, giving him the benefit of the doubt na nagkamali, let's say, 61 million ng PMR. Yeah. Hindi pa rin nakaka-meet eh. Kasi ang over, almost 400 million ang uh, na-defraud ang government from March to October alone. That, that's true. Kaya nga 
po nung uh, binibigyan niya ano, uh, we, we uh, realize yung iba dyan ang papataas ng tingin po nung bibigyan niya 350 million, 225 million may nagbid pa ng 800 something million this is impossible so uh, as per our assessment during that time, yung uh, pwede lang natin tingnan yung kakayanan nila Uh, Why would you conclude the impossible? Yun ang binibili. Kung nanalo sila, they will have to come up That's what with that uh, figure, di ba? That's what happened to Pangasinan, sir. Then, then, then so, suspend or... Kaya uh, tinancel po sila. O kaya nga, di cancel. Eh, ito po, ikakancel na rin natin ito. Pag, uh, ano, <laughs> yun. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Sir, if I may add on record, uh, even Sean just awarded, despite the having the lowest PMR, ay hindi pa uh, masyado yata ng ano ah uh, uh, masyadong ano na bias against them sana i-ano ito ni uh, in inawad yung sa lowest ng the DMQ so in line with the suggestion of German kung napailo kita kita uh, in set of mga dito Senator Hanlatin is recognized Thank you Mr. Chairman Chairman just a few quick questions to GM Balutan uh, GM Balutan uh, good morning I'm trying to understand this. No? The figures are irrelevant, but this is about revenues. Now, uh, let me just ask. Baka naman, how many people do you have in PCSO? Uh, in regular employees, po namin about 1,200. Po. How are you organized at local government level? We have 63 branches uh, nationwide. This is... Uh, this, it's, uh, Uh, bawat PCSO po namin is like a mini PCSO okay. uh, for uh, fund generation and fund distribution for our charity services. So ganun po, we have uh, understaffed uh, okay. advances uh, nationally. I'm, I'm not offering excuses for you, no? How many people per branch? Uh, Doon sa malalaking branch po siguro mga 14. 14 people? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, my question basically is, can you enforce the law by yourself without the cooperation, let's say, of the Philippine National Police, most especially local government? Definitely no, sir. Okay. But uh, we can cooperate. We are appearing uh, before the court, some court hearings. Uh, we, uh, we send our uh, lawyers and also our managers to uh, the courts. Well, Jim Balutan, that's procedural. No? Now, uh, my next question is, what is your coordinating mechanism? that allows you to enforce the law or the IRR at local government level. Nag-uusap-usap ba kayo? Uh, with the PNP, sir, uh, we, have, uh, we have signed in uh, last 22 November 2016 uh, for the anti-illegal uh, uh, illegal, uh, 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 gambling operation. Uh, so we have a uh, NOAA with PNP. With the uh, local officials, sir, uh, ang ginagawa po namin, we coordinate directly with them. We write them and also uh, we encourage our branch managers to coordinate directly with the local officials so that uh, uh, there will be a smooth uh, operation of the STL. What about the reporting system? Uh, 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 how, do you, how do you report? How do you remit? I remit. Uh, 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 diba yung remittances are shared? A portion yeah. that goes to local government down to barangay level. Mm -hmm. There are competition against the brands and also the brands operations uh, sector natin, we co they, they compute the uh, sharing. Uh, ando po sa IRR yan. And ang uh, remittance po nila is every day, bank to bank po yan, uh, from their localities uh, uh, to our uh, main office uh, sa, uh, sa BCSO. Sure, I'm asking these questions, Jim Balutan, because Let, let me go to my last point. No? It's about revenues. Kung yung uh, AACs ninyo nagre-remit openly, siyempre ang bagsak niyan, gobyerno, di ba? Correct po. Pag illegal ka, di ba? You, you do not remit, you, you do not share. Of course. So yeah. ang question is kung saan napupunta yan. Yun po ang uh, kailangan natin pag uh, of course, the pagsikapan is, po na natin gusto na makuha. This should all go to government. Should be uh, uh, Barring all other factors. Yung kung, wala. kung hindi ka obligado na mag-remit sa gobyerno at kung saan-saan nga pupunta yan, yan talaga ang problema natin. Yeah, problem. Lalo na, kung mas malaki diba, yung kita, dun sa illegal. Correct. Uh, Correct. Uh, so, uh, prospectively, that is what the legislation proposed by no less than the chairman intends to do. 
to Correct. make sure that control is not lost when these remittances are given. It's, it's a no-brainer. No? Mas sir. malaki ang kita mo at wala kang obligasyon na i-remit o i-share kung kanikanino. Yeah. Diba? Obviously, uh, people, our people, uh, young, old, mm. diba? who want to take a chance, will go to the illegal. Correct. Th that's what... Now, let me go back to my first question. By yourself, you cannot enforce that. Correct. Uh, okay. uh, and I am, I, I am not rationalizing for you, no? Ang pantline talaga natin dito, local government. Correct. Uh, yeah. Your branches. Hmm. It's not the police. It's unfair, I think, to impose that burden on you or the Philippine National Police only. Diba? The pantline for food, clothing, shelter, health, medical services is local government, yeah. including peace and order, the drug problem, terrorism, everything. So this is what the legislation intends to address. So that is what you will have to help your committee sort out. I just want to put that on record para when you submit the information required by the committee to the chair, to the committee, these areas will be covered. How do we uh, develop a system through legislation so that we will not con lose control over the remittances and make it more profitable for the operators of SDL to, report, uh, to remit to government, not to somebody else. Okay. Uh, I, I fully agree uh, with you. Uh, uh, Thank you. I will fully support that uh, move. Mr. Uh, Chair, can I add one on the point of Senator Gringo when talking about revenues? Yes. Because in need of legislation, uh, kailangan talaga malinaw na kailangan ng AACs mag-apply ng mayor's permit. Because as mentioned by Senator Gringo, if you apply for mayor's permit, these AACs should, be, should declare their income, di ba po? In the municipality, and or they should be pay the the right uh, permit, the tax or the permit based on that amount. Ang problema kasi, Mr. Chair, in aid of legislation, ang stand talaga ng PCSO kasi is hindi raw talaga kailangan ng use permit as the Public Act 1169. But in the Public Act 1169, there is no mention of exemption from local taxes. Unlike PADCOR, dun sa PADCOR, malinaw may exemption sa local taxes permits franchise. So, in your uh, Mr. Chair, PADCOR, despite the exemption, are asking lahat ng operation ng PADCOR, bingo, naging yun ang mayor's permit, ang nangihingi pa ng lodo, yung letter of no objection in respect to the local government. In aid of legislation, PCSO has mandated in their charter or Republic Act 116, wala naman yung nakalagay na exempted sila. So, dapat talaga linawin niya. Then secondly, since we are talking about revenues, if we really want to collect every peso uh, due to government, my question is, why can't the PCSO require AS, AACs or SDA operators to use electronic centrally auditable system? Because the existing manually written book slips are prone to manipulation and has no level of player protection. Magtaya ka, kagaya ng kinakita ko po, magtaya ka sa papilitos, nanalo ka, eh paano kung hindi niyo bayaran? So walang player better protection kung ganito ang sistema. Saka, Bakit hindi nila i-require, di ba? Auditable, electronic, para makulit. In short, the, the point that he's trying to drive up, the point that he's trying to uh, pose it, there cannot be any better monitoring mechanism than the local government. Sila nasa ground eh. Pag ay nitsapwera mo yung local government, hindi ka nila tutulong. No, no, what I'm saying, kung ang assumption, kung... I, Kasi hindi na nga kayo magkasunod ng local government. Ganon din ang uh, concern na ni Reis ni Sen. Pacquiao. Kasi walang, uh, apparently, walang coordination sa, sa council or the local government unit. Hindi ba? E paano nyo mamonitor? E kukunti nga yung tao ninyo. So, sabi ko, there cannot be any better and more efficient uh, mechanism sa monitoring nyo. Kundi yung local government units, after all. Yung PNP rin, nandiyan din sa local government yung, uh, yung mga tauhan nila, hindi ba? Uh, having said that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we'd like to hear from the other resource persons. So, with that, first I'd like to recognize uh, Mr. Ang, and then after that, uh, see si Ms. Sa Sandra Kam. Go ahead. Good morning, Your Honor. Mm, I'm uh, Charlie Atong Ang, mm, businessman and a consultant. Naging kasutan po ako ng PACOR. Sa Hialay, naging successful yun. At ako rin po ang nag-design ng big robots. Okay. 
right now, consultant ako ng Meridian at Operation Manager. Okay. Kaya po ako nandito, uh, naging research person, at the same time, gusto ko po sabihin sa inyo, lahat ng baho ng PCN, so lahat ko anong ginawa nila, kung paano ako sinira ni Corpus sa kanibalutan, may, meron ako yung kukwento sa inyo. But, para lang magawa nila yung kalukuhan nila, ito, ito, dito na sisimula yan. Ang hindi nila alam, May 2016, may tumawag sa akin, nandito ako sa Manila. Pinakausap uh, ako sa Secretary Bongo. Ang sabi niya, akamputa ka ng dabaw para batiin si Presidente. Okay. Ano yung pala mo na uunahin pala pa ito mo na? Teka mo na, let me remind you, uh, as much as possible, you stick to yes. the excuse. Yes, uh, dito kasi ang uh, kailang mapatunayan ko kasi uh, your honor, itong sin ang inaakos nila sa akin na gambling lord ako at illegal gambling, puro illegal daw ako, sinasabi nila. Ako rin nasa likod ni Sandra Khan. Kaya lang, nag-offer daw ako ng 200 million sa kanya. Kaya kaya kailang paluwanan ko, sorry, malito. Gusto ko rin ng STL. Kaya ako yung kinakwento po ito para mapatunayan ko na wala, na wala akong interest dyan. Papatunayan ko lang lahat ng kalakuhan at baho kung anong ginawa ni Balutan dito. Okay. Since wala kang respeto, sinisira mo pangalan ko at saka si, si Lasang Rakan, eh, kayo na ang mag-justice mag sa sasabihin ko. Pasensya na po, kung may konting emosyon ako ng konti, at the same time, yung mga mababanggit kong pangalan dito, pasensya na rin po, kailangan lang magsiti lahat kung ano ang totoo para matapos atong lahat na pinag-uusapan yung issues, issue na yan na hindi ito sa sasabihin ko. Okay. May 2016, uh, nagpunta po ako ng Dabao, at uh, bumati naman po ako presidente. Uh, sabi ko po, Mr. President, congratulations po. At nasabi ko lang ang problema ng PCSO. Dahil concern ako sa PCSO dahil dyan binaboy ang kaibigan ko na si Governor Ayong Maleksi. May kukwento ko pa rin yung dito yung pagkakataon. Na-explain ko, Presidente, na PCSO ginagawang front ng lahat ng mga kalakayan dito. So, may paliwan ko sa inyo, ikiyan ko na. Pagkatapos nun, may paliwan ko, Umuwi na ako. Pagbalik ko ng Manila, Your Honor, so after a few months, mga September, tumawag sa akin si, si Director uh, Sandra Khan. Ang sabi niya, uh, ato, si Secretary Bongo tumawag sa akin, daling ba kita kay Corpus sa kay Balutan? Okay. So, iso, September 14, nagpunta, nagpunta kami doon, sabi ko, bakit ako dadaling doon? So, sabi, bakit ako pupunta? Ang sagot ni Ma'am Sandra, para raw matulungan ang PCSO na tumaas ang revenue at maging maayos ang takbo. Dahil may pinaliwanag kaya ta doon nung magpunta ka. So, ibig sabihin, malinis ang intensyon ng Presidente na ayusin yan. Mas kasasakitari bongo. So, ang sa akin lang, para makatulong sa gobyerno, pumunta ako eh, sum sumunod, pumunta kami ganun hapon, mga 4.30. Ang uh, uh, sabi ni Ms. Sandra ang sa akin, binis to sa kami ni, ni, ni Corpus. Ang sinabi sa kanya, are you the advance party of Mr. Atom or Kentaraj? Sumunta lang, hindi pa ako dumadating doon. Ngayon, ito na nga ito, ang dito ka balutan. Pagdating ko doon, sumalubong sa balutan. Ang sabi ni balutan sa akin, magkasama si Lina Sandra Khan, kasama ko si Atoni Sabio, as Atoni Cruz. Ang sabi ni, ni balutan, pag bumas ang libro, kung may, may CCTV na makikita niya yun, sinalubong niya ako, ang sabi niya, may sala ito nga, mabuti, may kausap tayo rito, may kausap tayo rito, sa ng floor yun. Sabi niya, at least, mapag-uusapan natin kung, kung anong maayos. At yun, si Corpus na kurap na ng kabilayan. Yun ang sagot niya. Ang sabi, at binasus pa rin niya si Sandra ang sinabi niya sa akin yan. Nung pagkanoy namin na ganun, 
Kung nakita kami sa Corpus, siya naman niya sa Corpus. The thing kay Corpus, pumasa sa loob, umuha sa labas, di na kakinuna ng picture nila. Pag-upong pag-upo ko ron, binastas na naman ako ng Corpus. Ito ang Apos ko. Pagdating ko dyan, ay kinukwento ko naman sa inyo para kayo nang-isip. Ang sabi ko, sabi sa akin, who are you? Sabi sa akin ni, ni Corpus. Ang sabi ko, I'm Charlie Atano, uh, consultant of Meridian. So, sabi niya, you're consultant of what? Sabi niya, can you show me your ID or papers? Tapos, tapos uh, sabi niya, uh, can you write down kung anong gusto mo? Yung talagang binabasa sa kaya. Si Balita naman, nakangiti lang ganun. Okay. Ngayon, siyempre naman, binasas kami, binasas lang, diba? sumagot ako. Sabi ko, General, sabi ko, hindi ako nagpunta rito para mag-apply sa'yo, sa STL mo. Okay? Actually, naipon na yan, meron pa siyang ginawa kasi. Nung bago ang mupo kasi si Corpus, nung, nung nandun pa si Governor, si Chairman Malisi, pero hindi na pumapasok. Pagdating ng mga bata niya, kinukuha lahat yung pinapalis lahat ang gamit ni, ni Chairman Malisi. Ganun ang pagdasa siya. Ang sabi, tatanggalin namin dito si Atong Ang. Eh, wala naman akong best sa sa PCSO. Mas kinaano. So, matatandaan ko na yung ginawa yan. Okay. Nung araw na yan, na nagkawasit kami ni Corpus, tapos, ang nakalimutan ni Corpus, lahat ng gambling log, lahat yan, magkukumpari kami, makakasama kami sa sabuhan. Kaya nalalaman ko lahat ang movement nila. Kung binigyan mo siya ng log user, humingi mo siya ng ng Innova, humingi na siya at tatong sasakyan, lahat na lamang yan. Bahala na si John, na bullet proof, okay? Ngayon, ang gusto ko lang patunayin dito kung gaano na kaloy ako itong dalawang hinaral na ito. Pagkatapos nung sinabi ko kay Corpus, sabi ko, hindi ako nagpunta rito para mag-apply siya. Pumunta ako dito para sabihin ko na siya na pinapunta ako dito para tulungan sana kayo. Ngayon, may silang pag-usap namin. Gusto ko malaman mo, na ang laman ng buong buong Pilipinas more or less sa 200 million pili okay minimum yan more or less tapos sabi ko bakit hindi mo sila ta put in writing sabi ko kaya ko basta makinig ka na lang tapos sinabi ko ngayon 200 million at wala akong interest dyan sabi ko ngayon yung dinideclare niyo ngayon nasa 20 million wala pa ngayon eh kaya illegal yan, yun lang in-advise ko sa kanya. At saka ikaw nga, sabi ko nga, ikaw korpus, hindi ka pa umuwi po. One week before mo po nga, nakikipag-meeting ka sa mga kami ulit. Di naman ko sa iyo, ano, pasensya na. E, e, kaya ko sa ginang, dahil, dahil binabasta sa kami. Nung panahon na yung sabalita kakabi namin. Dahil gusto niya, agaw yung post ni korpus. Nung time na yun. Kaya nakangiti pa siya. Ngiti pa siya, nangiti na ganun. Okay. Tapos, nung, uh, nung sinabi ko, nung sinabi ko sa korpus na, ang sabi si Corpus sa akin, eh pa paano nagawin ko, basta lang, nakawasin ko na lahat yan. Sabi ko, problema mo yan. Nahin naman na lahat yan, kapano mo tatanggalin nyo yan. Tsaka, ang dapat na gawin ko rin, kung titignan nyo itong PCSO, itong PCSO, ang PCSO, safe state yan, noong araw nang simula yan, walang problema dahil lahat ng ticket, declare, binabayaran, ticket, bayad. So, 30% ito na pupunta sa charity, walang problema, walang corruption. Kung may corruption na siguro sa printing ng ticket, sa mga kung ano-ano kalakuhan dyan, lumabas ang loto. Okay? Gusto nga pala paalam mo na ang charter ng PCSO, as consultant, napagarama ko naman yan, ditignan nyo na lang. Ang charter niya, uh, uh, substeak plus, uh, substeak and uh, lotteries. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng ginamitan ng pimpang pwede dyan. At least para mabigyan din kayo ng konting idea dun. Uh, Mr. Rang, uh, your three minutes may have expired. So, please go direct to the point. Yes. Uh, yung, uh, so, tapos, uh, tapos, uh, tapos ko lang po ito. Wala na. Kasi kasama ito sa, sa, sa inaanan ko sa akin. Eh. So, yung, yung pagkatapos po nung nakikorpus na yun ang nangyari yun. Uh, Uh, yung pagkakasabi ko kay Corpus na, na kinausap mo na one week before, kinausap mo na mga gambling lord lahat. At ang pagkakaalam ko po, 
kita ko sa kanila, kinota rito, kota rito, ganyan yung nangyari yun. Tapos, yung pagkatapos nun, na nahihimit na ako, tinura naman ako ng tinura sa mga gambling load ako, ako raw na sa likod ng isang turuan, ako raw ng ganito, nag-apply raw ako. Kaya ako doon ang dito itong lahat na to, unti sa pala ang sinabi ko na, 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 na sinabi ko na na illegal ang STL na yan. Ngayon, ito ngayon ang, ang lahat ng kalakuhan sa PCSO. So, sinabi ko na sa inyo ang safe state, ang safe state tama yan. Okay? Da dahil after the effect yan, minus sa uh, 30% charity, okay nyan. Yung ito, okay din yan. Wala rin problema. Ngayon, pinasok itong STL, bakit mo pinabibig ba? Hindi act one. Bakit kinakatahan nyo? Yan na, bakit may kota? Ibig ibi sabihin, meron kayong ginagawa. Bakit, bakit hindi act one? Tapos, ito, ito pa nangakapagtaka. Charity rin lang ngayon. Bakit ang 30% na charity na binibigay ng, 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 ng PCSO na pupunta sa, sa municipality, 3%, Congress, 2.5, uh, by 2.5, provincial government, etc., etc. Eh, bakit kayo nagbibigyan ng charity rin? Eh, wala naman may sakit doon. Wala may sakit doon. Nakakapagtaka ito. Tapos, ang binapagkit lang kayo ng napalitan, 1.7 billion per month. Ang sinasabi, 18 billion per year. Eh, ano lang yun eh. Yung actor sa isang grosyo, nililokon yung mga tao. Ba't hindi nyo sabihin na ang nakukuha nyo dyan is 12, dati 7%, naging 12.9% lang inaprobahan nyo. Ang 12.9% ang 12.9% billion do sa, do sa, do sa, 18, sa 18 billion nyo. Sinabi nyo rin sa inyo naman yan na ang dapat, ang dapat mag-operate ng, 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 ng dapat hindi private na tao ang nag-operate yan o kung sino-sino man. Dapat PCS o pareho ng loto. Yun ang charter niya. Ang tinakawin yung pinaprocess niya. Para lang kumita kayo lahat. Uh, Sir Ang, can you address the chair? You cannot address the other resource persons. Yes, sir. Uh, kasi, ano po ito? Kasi sinasagot ko lang yung ano, lahat na kinakisilo sa akin. Yes, Pero matapos lang ako. Sa chair, yung iyong... Ay, yung ano? I'm sorry. You cannot address the other resource persons. You cannot talk directly to them. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. So, ang inaano ko lang po, na, yun, no, na, bigyan pa sinyo rin po ito, na, ang daming may sakit, okay, pinipili dyan, humingi ng 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, at meron pa silang Christmas party, na sinasabi ng lovers, or, uh, kung ano yung tinatawag nila, it, Bakit pa gaganyan po sila dahil ang dami po yung ano yung, 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 na, na humingi ng tulong bakit may mga ganito pa Christmas party na ganyan? E sa charter ng PCS, dapat tinutulong nila sa mga may sakit. Ito pa isa. Meron din mo dyan si, si Balutan na empleyado. Si, si Presidente, ganyan nagagalit po sa Presidente sa mga nagtatrabon. Okay? Meron mo dyan na sa intel ko, meron isang Janet Vicente or Janet Panisares na empleyado dyan na alam ko na kasama-sama niya. Hindi ko alam kung ano niya yan. At isang Roger Ramirez na nagpunta pa ng Europe. 2000, itong ano lang, November, last November. Sabi pa sila sa flight. Kindly wrap up kasi nakatatlong ikot na yung 3 minutes. QR, uh, flight, uh, Qatar, QR, nag-Europe sila, QR 933. Papunta, pabalik, December 6, QR 932. E, dumiyahe po yan. At sinasabi ko lang, in-explain ko lang, kung sino ba ito, na-impliyado ng piso sa pareho. Tapos, uh, yan, ito po na sa mga, sa mga illegal po na sinasabi nila, na involved na sa mga illegal gambling, na inakis po sa akin, Your Honor, nandito po lahat ng mga regional commander, ang PNP, gusto ko lang clear. Ang voting, oh, hindi kayo makakapag-operate ng voting kung hindi alam ng local government, PNP, kaya 
kami mayor masin na lahat inahamo ko kayo kung nag-uwiting akong mas kikilan ngayon tinatamang pinag-uusapan niyo ang actual sales maraming naman po kayong nakilala ng mga governor congress ng lahat malalaman niyo naman po talaga ang actual sales bawat produsan lahat maraming pa ko dito yun ano kay kay na Mamaya, pwede ka naman magpatuloy. Yes, sir. Uh, tatanungin ka naman ng mga senador. Uh, kasi marami tayong resource person na pwede na kailang pagkunan din natin ng info. Okay po. Tsaka yun po mga actual sales. Masasabi ko po sa inyong lansin. Can you ask yes, 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 uh, yes, 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 resource person, Mr. President? Mr. Chairman, yes, can we, shall we wait with the other, for the other no, resource person? No, you may have profound questions now. Yes, I was very interested in uh, the issue kasi ng STL. So, I wanted to ask uh, uh, Atong. Um, ano ba itong STL? Kaya naman nagsimula ito at saka sino man nagpasok na ito? Uh, Napakaganda po ni Yoron. Ang simula po ng STL, pinanak ang STL panahon ni, ni President Cory kay Carascoso. Nung panahon ni Carascoso, uh, sila po pinkawa ko yan. Nung binos na nila, nakita nila failure tinigil nila. Alam nila hindi nakiklik. Bumalik ko yan, yung panahon ni Madam Jimmy, panahon ni binok sa nila, ginamit na front ni Mr. Bonkineda. Kasi ang kala ka rin po kasi ng gobyerno po natin, kasi siya na po, ito talaga ito eh. Pag naging presidente ka, sometimes naiipit din ka pa rin yung Madam Jimmy, nakita niyo naman, naiipit ko siya na kulong dahil din siya sa ano ang nangyari kayo, manaling manito po, na kulong. Hindi nyo ba nakita ang karma ng, ng PCS o pera ng bayan niya? Pera ng may hirap. Ano nangyari kayo, manito na kulong? Si Uriarte na kulong. May director na istro. Kauupo lang ni Corpus na istro na. Si Joro has puro kaso at saka si Rico. Ano kaya aabutin ng isa rito? Ngayon, ito po ang... Pagkatapos ng sa GMA, ito po yung GMA. Kinontrol nila yan, nag-declare na lang mas, mas interesting nyo ang income ng, ng STO ng panahon ni, ni Uriarte. Napakaliit talagang front lang yung panahon ni Bongo Nedon. Alam naman nila lahat, hindi mo kailangan tayo magsinaling. Talagang gano'n yung front to. So, ibig mo sabihin, yung STL ng araw, uh, Sinubukan nila during the time of President uh, Cory Aquino, unsuccessful, tinigil. Itinigil po, Yoron. Ang panahon ni GMA, um, hanggang ngayon, tuloy-tuloy yan. Panahon po ni GMA, puro experimental yan. Hindi, tangkaw. Uh, uh, ito ba yung naririnig ko na dahilan nito, dahil para patayin ang waiting, kaya ginawa yung STR, ganun ba yan? Ang sabi po nila, patayin ang waiting. Kaya ano kung pa rin yung mag-waiting, imposible yung patayin ang waiting. Kasi hindi ka makapag-operate po nito or ano, kung hindi ka mag-uuting. Oh, sige, alam ko yung extent nung uh, ikang ay pagkipagkaibigan mo rito sa mga maraming uh, tao sa, sa bansa. Eh, no? Kaya, ang tanong ko sa iyo ngayon, uh, may waiting pa rin ba kahit na STL noon at hanggang ngayon? Yan yeah, na, ang waiting po, kaya uh, wala na pong waiting. Kasi may mga front, ang kumbaga sa ano, ang criminal, nilagay nyo na ng chape. Eh, lahat yun ang mag-uwiting, pasensya na, magkakaibigan nyo tayo, pero kailangan, kailangan matapos itong usapan na ito, matagal na masyado ito. Marami na yung ano rito. Wala na pong uwiting talaga, dahil ang front na nila ngayon, STL na, wala nang uwiting, kalimutan na po yan. Ang uwiting naman, ang nagiging illegal lang uwiting, ang 1 to 37 numbers, illegal lang dahil wala lang permit. Yun, yun ang kasalanan ng uwiting. Kaya hindi na kailangan pag-usapan ng uwiting, dahil uwiting. Ngayon, ang waiting, binihisa na yun. Ginawa ng STL. So, anong uh, base sa uh, yung may kang uh, malawak na experience dyan at pagdating sa numero, alam ko, ikaw ay ikaw nga eh, uh, guru ko. Oh. <laughs> uh, anong recommendation mo sa STL? Well, tatapusin ko lang muna ang ating story nitong STL. Tapos ipapasok ko yung suggestion ko. Kasi wala naman interest talaga mag-STL o waiting. Ayoko ko niyan. Ayoko ko na ilihan mo talaga. Meron akong suggestion para sa gobyerno. Masabi ko, Presidente, na, ngayon, eh, bahala na kung anong decision nila dyan. Eh, yung di ko ba, di suggestion? Eh, hindi, ito pa. Tapos ito. Nung panahon nyo ni Pinoy, ito maganda. Nung panahon ni Presidente Pinoy, three years na nakarupo sa pinakakasal ng STL na yan. Ang problema, nakita niyo, wala nangyayari sa STL, nakita niyo, naging dami. 
ang, ang problema, nung no, no, pulisan sa rinan, may nakailan na isang sekretary na nakulat nila. Ang sinabi, ang sinapit ng presidente, marami nga walang yung trabaho. Yun ang sinagot. Pero nang ito binibigay, alam ko kasi nang nabibigay. Actually, nag-arap namin ang sekretary niyan. Yan. So, ano yung nalang natin? Alam naman tayo lahat yan. Ay, bulong mo sa akin kung sino. Nasabi ko na ko sa Mr. Lux. Ngayon, yan yung sinamantala ko ni 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 Rajo Rojas nung panahon na yan. Ngayon, si Presidente Pinoy, ang gusto niya lulusan talaga yan. Kaya gusto niya talaga si Governor Maliksi. Ang problema, nagkaisa lahat na nawag pa po si Governor Maliksi dyan. Dahil alam mo lang lulusan eh. Na po si Governor Maliksi dyan one year before na buwada si, si, si Presidente. Ang ginawa niya, binabi nila si Maliksi. Yan po ang nangyari dito. Ngayon, pumalit, pumalit, ang, pumalit yung si Presidente yung gusto lulusan. Ang problema, ang mga nakapaligid sa kanya, hindi sinasabi ito tayo. Dati mag-uwi ito yung nag-uwi Naging gusto ay pinalitan sila. Ngayon, panahon ni Presidente ng military ni Governor Maliksi. Ito na yun. Hindi lang mag-uwiting. Andiyan ang mga Uyami Group. Sila Tsunami. Tsunami ko sinasabi ko sa inyo. Alam niyo naman yung mga, mga direktor eh. Kasi isa na ako kayo. Ito lang ang nati-expose sa lahat to. Kasi hindi matitigil to eh. Andiyan na papatayan. Andiyan na. Kailan lang yun. Yung ano, may namatay. Andiyan si... Andiyan si Go. May napatay sa ano? Sa... Salbay. May napatay na. Ipatayan yung... Yung ko na STL-STL na yun. Yan yung sinasabi ko na kailangan matapos ito. Ang suggestion mo rito, gobyerno mo ko pa rin. Yan yung sinasabi ko, ganun pa simple. May sekreto po yan. Walang gambling mo, wala lahat. Gobyerno mo ko pa rin. 60 billion, billion a year. Yan yung sinasabi ko na kailangan matapos ito. Yan yung sinasabi ko. Mr. Chair, can you just add uh, on the question of, uh, of uh, Mr. Axe Senator? or majority leader in the Senate. Sa kamarin ito po, I can say this is a weapon po yun na inauthorize na na PCSO. Weapon po yun. Pinakita na po namin eh. The fact na ginagamit yung papilito, sweating yun. Na ambulant vendor na papataya kung saan-saan, weapon yun. Hindi accountable ng COA, weapon yun. Ano pa po ba? Weapon pero authorized ng PCSO. This is what I'm going to put in. Yung mahirap yung sa sagot yung balutan kanina yung ano, na sinasabi niya. Nilalaw ko lang tayo kasi wala niyo, paano natin nahuloy ni Aldo? Sarang, sarang. Can we show some respect to the other resource person? Ah, yes. I'm sorry. General Manager yan eh. Binastas na po ako eh. Yes, but you are in... Sinuro niya ako pagkatao ko eh. You are in this committee. Yes, you are in this committee. You are found by the rules. I'm sorry. Tinatawal ko po kasi ako walang hiya. Ang dami po sinabi sa akin. Mag-uwiting daw ako kung ano na po sinasabi niya sa Aspartos. Kaya nga, humihingi po ang pasinisado sa emosyon na sinasabi ko. Doon nga bastos ko na pagkatao ko. Pati yung sasantro na wala na makilikang kung ano yung sinasabi. Pati babae ko na patulong at hindi ko, hindi siya ang anak na lalaking pareho niya na lalaking sa kanya. Anyway, sige, wind up mo yung answer doon sa recommendation. So, yung recommendation is that government run it. Huwag yung bigay na franchise. Yes, Your Honor, hindi dapat ganun. Tignan nyo nga, wala na ba katapos ng itong na every time nyo papalit ng presidente, makukulong ang GM, ang GM dyan, tsaka mga chairman. Tignan nyo, it's either na napaparalay sa katakangan o makukulong. Hindi ba? Tignan nyo ang story. Kaya huwag nyo nang pakailan na yung 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 PCS nyo. Para sa mga nangyayarap yan. Pinag-iinteresan nyo. Tingnan pa, hindi na kukulong. Napaparalize. So, your recommendation is for government to operate, no? Yes, Your Honor. Government. So, well taken. That's well taken. We have it from Ms. Sandra Kam. After. After. Good morning, Your Honors. I've prepared a statement, opening statement. Can I read it, please? Good morning, Your Honors. Yes, three minutes. Yes, sir. Good morning, Your Honors. Bawat piso mula sa PCSO ay mahalaga sa mga maralita at sa matang Pilipino. La patria, love of the country. 
my loyalty is to the Filipino people. Sorry, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. My loyalty is to the Filipino people and to the president only. Ang pagmamahal ko po sa ating ng bayan ay ikit pa sa pagmamahal ko sa ating sarili at sa ating pamilya. Kaya ko po itinaya ang ating buhay noon pa man hanggang ngayon. Ako'y simpleng namamayan na ng ating hangarin ay sundi ng kautusan ng ating mahal na Pangulo para pangalagaan ang charity fund ng ahensya ng PCSO. Protect our public funds. In my capacity as a private citizen, I risk my life in the arrest and return of self contest drug lord Kevin Spinoza here in the Philippines. Public office is a public trust. Public officials are at all times accountable to the people. My mission is advocacy and vision for the people and for our president who reposed his trust in me is to serve the government with all honesty and transparency. Transparency is the highest form of service to the Philippine people. This is public records under the Freedom of Information, or FOI. Resigned Chairman Jose George Corpus and General Manager Alexander Balutan even prohibited me from accepting our own documents. Confidentiality is not an issue here. The public has right to know. We owe to the people and to the President our positions. This is not a private office, but a public office under government-owned and controlled corporations. These two retired generals cannot merely terrorize the PCSO. Wag nilang takutin ang ordinaryong kawani ng PCSO. In line with the policy and directive of the President, I must always be the fiscalizer and guardian of good governance, especially protective to the charity funds, which is the pet program of PRID. My sole responsibility as director of PCSO being a collegial body to make sure that charity, charity funds must be fully utilized for the benefit among poorest of the poor. Huwag po natin hayaang pumila mula alas dos ng madaling araw ang ating mga tukhang kababayan sa Lang Center at PGH na kadalasan ay nagmumula sa iba't ibang probinsya at ipinangpangutang pa nila ang kanilang pamasahe. Gusto kong ilahat ang mga katiwalian ng kanilang pamumunod sa PCSO. Tulad na, number one, extravagant Christmas party, maluhong Christmas, Christmas party sa kitna ng kalamidad. Number two, rich beneficiaries of the charity fund, policy policy on giving guarantee letters. Ano pa ang polisiya ukol sa pagbibigay ng charity fund para sa lahat? Mapahirap man o mapamayaman. Anomalous contracts that are disadvantages to the government. Mga maanumalyang kontrata na hindi pumapabor sa gobyerno. Number four, FTL operations where incoming lords are still loading the guys of dummy corporations. Mga FTL franchisees na coming lords ang nagpapatakbo. And number five, an update on the PCS of San Marcelino building. To resign Chairman Corpus and GM Balutan, huwag po sana natin linlangin ang ating mahal na Pangulo at higit sa lahat ay ang mga Pilipino sa tunay na nangyayari sa STL operations. Hindi, higit na isang daang milyong piso, I repeat, higit sa isang daang milyong piso araw-araw ang nawawala sa kaban ng ating gobyerno. GM Balutan, huwag po sana nating ibaling to resign Chairman Cortus ang lahat ng katiwalian ayon sa impormasyon na dumating sa akin. Again, GM Balutan, give decency to the perimeter of the PCSO. I am appealing to both houses of Congress that after this investigation to charge the corrupt public officials na walang pa
at kundang kinlustahin ang pera ng gobyerno para sa mahihirap. And in my closing, gusto kong maisakataparan ang pangarap ng ating mahal na Pangulo na matapagpatayo ng dialysis centers sa bawat kanayunan na hinihikayat ko po ang ating mamamayan at LGUs na magkaroon ng bayanihan sa magandang hangarin ng Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte. Finally, Your Honors, if I will keep mum, who will watch the watchmen? My gratitude, Your Honors. Thank you. Would you like to respond, uh, Alex? Just uh, very quickly, Your Honors, uh, the opposition that I've been in uh, Europe, uh, sabihin ko ay kukuha ni Pahang 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 ng Europe. Uh, sabihin na with somebody, I can submit my, my passport na hindi po ako napupunta doon. Sa Iraq po napunta ako for uh, 15 months as commander of the UN forces there. Okay. Somebody is lying there. Would you like to add? Uh, well, I don't say that you went to Europe, but I have a picture here. Yan nga, ang sabi ako raw tinuturo niya. Yan nga, hindi ko sinabi siya, yung babae sa si Ramirez, yung dalawang tauhan niya. I have a picture here, and I want, Mr. Chairman, for GM Balutan to identify who is this woman. Is this a part of the... Uh, Yeah, uh, As I said earlier, uh, uh, let's stick to issues. In the end of the legislation, we're here to amend the Charter of PCSO. Sir? Kasi 83 years old na. Yeah. Mr. Chairman. Mag ma mas mag-focus tayo doon. Ano? Yeah. These are side issues that uh, may... Ang dami kong gathering eh. Baka hindi yan. Mr. Chairman, po. The, the reason why I'm showing this picture to you, because this woman is apparently a consultant in PCSO. <laughs> And she's loading the procurement. Below one million. What's up, one million, please? Below one million. And she's the one in charge for the procurement of uh, corporate giveaways during the Christmas party. Yan po ang rason kung bakit ko nilabas po ito. Sino ba nagpipirma ng, uh, ng paghar ng consultant sa PCSO? Is it the... Ano the board, ano? Board no, it's the general manager. Uh, yes, attorney Suntay. Kindly uh, enlighten the committee. Pa Paano ba kayo mag-hire ng mga consultants sa PISET? Uh, um, Mr. Suntay, in principle sa other departments, uh, make, no, there are certain guidelines we follow, but uh, each uh, department has uh, a, a number of authorized uh, consultants which they, they can hire. So they kanya-kanya ko yung uh, particular consultants. How many? Pagdating sa, sa for example, for, for the directors, uh, I think five. And how many departments are there under the PCSO? Ilang uh, departamento dyan? There are five sectors. Um, five sectors. Uh, and how many consultants per department ang authorized <coughs> na kunin? Uh, as far as we are concerned in the world, the uh, only the uh, consultants and general manager and chairman are authorized to have consultants. Only the general manager and general manager consultants, uh, general manager, uh, the directors, board of directors, and the chairman. Ah, uh, lahat ng members ng board. Correct, sir. How many consultants per office? Uh, more or less than five because uh, the board is uh, only for policy making yes but as far as uh, general manager is concerned we are deploying the, the consultants all over the country uh, as uh, so you can source your uh, consultancy fees na binibigyan ninyo anong source nun from the rating uh, funds your honor which is uh, how many percent 15% 15% uh, of the year uh, earnings ng, ng piso correct your honor can I have my also my own No, I, I, I want to be... Sige, you have the floor. We, we, we want to present a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation also as uh, our year and uh, seven weeks only. Uh, Go ahead. Can I uh, ask my staff to uh, present? Uh, oh, but you know, London. <laughs> Pero, personal, uh, no, 
for the record, is she really a consultant? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yes, sir. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, Hindi po ako... While you're preparing your PowerPoint, sige, Sandra. Okay, Mr. Chairman, ang rason ko po bakit nilabas ko itong issue is not because I want to let the Filipino people know kung sino ito. But the, this woman is loading the um, the uh, procurement below 1 million dyan sa uh, PCSO. At ito, yung nag-procure, siya yung nag-manipotra ng mga lahat ng corporate giveaways at saka yung mga magagarang mga fruit basket, ano, basket full of... Teka muna, pagka may procurement, di ba dadaan sa board? And there should be a board resolution to that effect. Because it's procurement, Johnny. Eh. That's correct, sir. That's correct. Uh, this is part of the solution. Uh, the board members. Uh, yes, sir. 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 Dadaan sa board dyan. Yes, Your Honor. Kailan may resolution bago kayo makapag-procure? Yes, Your Honor. Kawa, tama ba yan? Ano? Ganun dapat, eh? yun ang procedure. Masalangat siya. Na-approve nila, tatatul lang siya. Si Corpus, si General Balutan, at saka si Mr. Balete. Here, wala pa kami ni Director Suntay. Kasi kung nandiyan na kami, I don't think makakalusok yan. Dahil charity ito, babalik tayo sa Christmas party, which I want Mr. Chairman, to please allow me later. Later. Bagi mana nanti presentasi nang PCSO? Ati to po yang sama. Later will recognize again. Sige, you recognize. Alex, proceed. Ready to start? Okay, sir. Let me allow my let me allow my staff to present the. Accomplishment of PCSO ending 2017 with your indulgence, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Gano kahaba ito, Alex? This is seven-minute presentation. Alex, I'm asking, I'm talking to you. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, yes talk to me like that. Well, I think I'm going to talk to you as I can stop from the other side. Because there will be the room presenting. Alam mo naman yung wala kay Mr. Ang na medyo bastos ka nga. Yung gaganinin mo ko. Yes, sir. I'm... Anyway, you proceed. I'm asking my staff there, sir.
Uh, I understand that there is also duplication of uh, uh, funding. That's why uh, there was this meeting in one program recently that uh, there will be an integrated field health care program wherein uh, uh, the DOH field health, BSWD uh, and uh, uh, PCSO will uh, consolidate uh, for the provisions of uh, health care. Kasi ano nangyari po, ang isang pasyente na po for aging siya. At hindi alam kung saan pupunta, kung isang napakabog-bog po. So, there is this move by Mahana to reintegrate those healthcare agencies. Mr. Chairman, let me explain the rationale for the point I raised. Prospectively, the Chairman is proposing the creation of a Charity office. So, balik naman tayo sa charity. No? <coughs> If we are able to narrow down, hindi na po sa presentation, halos sa lagpas kalahati yung IMAP, di ba? 
uh, individual medical assistance. If we are able to narrow this down and zero in, then you can prioritize. Diba? Hindi, hindi, hindi kung sa, dahil, I'm not saying do not give to the BNP. But if we have to fix our fiscal management approach to everything, diba? ang direksyon namin ngayon, no? uh, having a power of purpose, is to go into line item budgeting. In fact, the chairman has this brain advocacy. Diba? Budget reform advocacy for village empowerment. Masyadong mala malaki ang inaarrogate sa national government. I look at the local government code. No? It devolved authority responsibility. He forgot to devolve something. Laman ni. So pag nakasiro in tayo dun sa IMAP, ma-expandin nyo, then dun, dun ang limitasyon natin. Mapupuntirin na natin yung pinakamahirap. Yung talagang naghihinga dun na. Instead of going all over the place and yeah, to this and that, to this and that. You, you might be assuming too much, uh, more than we can chew. So just bear this into consideration para when you give your inputs, when the committee decides to move into technical working group meetings, no, we can, we can move towards that direction. Para mawala na itong issue ng mga corruption. Uh, corruption is real. No, we should confront it uh, frontally. But see, it's in the control mechanisms that we fall short. So just take this into consideration. Huh? Uh, Jim Barutan, para we can focus on this. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Chairman, if I read yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 Senator Lassen. Well, uh, our 1169 vision, the Philippine Charities Sweepstakes Office, as the primary institution of the government to be used to raise the fund for, uh, for, for charity purposes, health care uh, and, and medical assistance. But, uh, however, because of special laws passed by Congress, dumami ho yung pinaglalaan ng uh, pera. Kaya pati sa Girl Scout, may, may contribution ng pagpunta sa PIDEA, meron sa PNP. That's why yung, yung, yung charity, uh, which is supposed to be used for uh, health services and medical care, medyo nagdito. But especially now, uh, our, uh, uh, the, the biggest problem that we have now is because with the implementation of the train, lahat ng ticket sales, may memory na kung uh, doc, doc stamps which is past kailangan kunin ko namin yung pambayad ng mula rin sa uh, dun sa earnings from charity uh, Mr. Chairman uh, Senator Rani, sorry thank you, good night nice. I still have uh, so many questions for uh, clarificatory in aid of legislation uh, to general uh, Balutan, um, since uh, the Christmas party is mentioned by uh, Santa Carmen uh, uh, Atongang, our resource person, um, me, uh, me I know, um, when was that uh, Christmas party happened? Uh? I think 19. I have a separate uh, presentation in five minutes, uh, if you will allow uh, that one. Uh, I would suggest that you respond, just respond okay. to the uh, question. Just uh, okay. a, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when was that? Um, 19 December. Uh, December 19. May I know how much uh, the budget uh, it's been by what uh, Christmas party? Because uh, you are accused by um, a lavish Christmas party. Um, yes, sir. Uh, initially, we are about... Uh, Approve the longest uh, vision uh, uh, for the uh, 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 for the Christmas party. Uh, but that's for uh, planning purposes only. The actual uh, expenses uh, covered by uh, uh, OR for uh, official receipts uh, is only 6.2 uh, million for 1,580 persons. Uh, out of the uh, 6.2, only 2.8. Uh, is spent uh, used uh, is as and given even for young young pastors don't follow the food but the uh, own population of physical uh, arrangement don't serve any of the rest given to support the uh, uh, rapport the uh, 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 giveaways the uh, corporate uh, giveaways etc. because uh, the initial long time, uh, 10 point something, uh, he didn't have such a lot because the miscellaneous uh, expenses and other contingency fund and the new point of access. So, uh, in other words, uh, in a six point, uh, I think 25 uh, million pesos. So, I don't know. Um, who approved the budget, uh, you know? Uh, yung 
budget po natin ngayon ay uh, approved ng EPM because we have the annual uh, uh, program and budget and this uh, EPP naman and the procurement plan and this is approved by uh, the DBM uh, approved by the DBM is 14 million and uh, as then uh, nagkaroon na po ng meeting sa board we approve uh, we approve 10 something 10.5 10.2 million approved by the board. Itong Christmas party, uh, gusto kong malaman kung uh, nationwide ba ito o dito lang sa... This is nationwide pa. Ah, nationwide. That's why uh, maraming nag- Maraming po ito. Oh, okay. 1,580 uh, personal uh, plan involved po dito. Mayroon pa kayong uh, Christmas party for uh, children? Uh, kasama na po yes, ba? Uh, yeah. Iba pa yun? That is separate. Uh, yeah. Ah, separate. Uh, uh, Doon sa 1,000... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. um, magkano po yung nabudget ninyo doon sa, nagastos nyo doon sa children's uh, party? Children. Kibi is 524,000, but I, I understand this is not spent pa. Uh, lahat po ito hindi naman siguro na, na, na nagastos lahat. Matap din itong budget na ito. Ah, okay. Uh, in your Christmas party, um, <coughs> you record, you were giving your prices um, 20,000, uh, 50 winners of uh, 20,000 each. That's uh, uh, correct. Is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. That's a total of 1 million and giving um, uh, 10,000 each, uh, 50 winners. That's 500,000. 5,000 each, uh, 2,200 winners, that's uh, 1 million. And uh, 3,500 winners, uh, uh, na tag, uh, 1, 000, uh, no, that's 1, uh, 1.5 million pesos. And 1,000 each, uh, 1,000 winners, that's uh, 1 million. Is that uh, correct? Uh, that's correct. Right? <coughs> At uh, gusto ko malaman kung magkano yung bayad nyo sa, sa venue? Uh, sa venue po, mga 2.2 uh, million kasama na po yung pag-time doon sa ating mga bisita at sa ating mga ibuato. Ang uh, nakita ko nga siya po doon na pagkain, yung manok lang sa konting uh, gulay. Yung hindi naman po labis at uh, sa sabi ko naman, tigaan na lang yung gusto ng okay. mga ibuato. Ay, tama na po yung saan. Mahihirap din po itong mga ibuato na for doing well for the year. Ay, ito saan mo. May you know, um, it goes a limit for expenses para like that uh, Christmas party. May limit ba yung, wala pang limit yung uh, uh, pieces or sa, sa pagdating sa budget? Uh, we try our best na tipirin po. Uh, actually, last year, no, ginanap po namin ito sa headquarters ng Marines dun sa Rabu Hall. <coughs> sa Port Bonifacio para makatipid. Uh, anong nangyari po kasi, naging logistical nightmare namin yung paghahanda dun sa Marines dahil nga sabi ko makakatipid tayo dito but uh, apparently hindi mahanggay yung food. So nasira po yung food. Hindi ka tulad dito yung malangking uh, hotel, they, they have kitchen at uh, fresh po na babating sa ating uh, pagkain. Sa, sa marines po, ang ginlap namin, marami, marami po nasa ilang pagkain. Dahil iniluto nila ang catering na maaga pa, ay gabi pa yung aming, uh, aming uh, party, so nasira po yung pagkain. I just want to ask, uh, if there's a limit uh, expenses for uh, this uh, um, Christmas party like that, uh, may, may limit ba o walang limit yung the limit is the budget. Uh, according to our experience in uh, uh, some years, only 6.3 uh, million in the po namin. So therefore, that would be enough uh, the budget uh, for the location for the people that attended. Uh, I believe that is uh, enough. Hindi uh, po natin masasabi na napakarama yung pagsasawa namin. Yes, I'm sorry for asking this because uh, I want a uh, uh, clarifatory uh, answer from you because you are accused by uh, a lavish uh, Christmas party spending uh, uh, how many million 
terms of uh, pesos and uh, supposedly uh, that's for charity para sa mga mahirap na tao and then marami pa akong talaga akong katanungan uh, pinibilisan ko na lang ito, just want to para malaman naman ng taong bayan na anong function, anong ginagawa ng PCS o uh, para hindi naman na uh, ang mawala yung trust ng, ng taong bayan dito sa PCSO. Uh, <coughs> I hope you understand that, uh, uh, General. And uh, also, um, tama po ba kayo, tama po ba na gumasos kayo ng um, 75,000 sa, um, sa MISA? Sa MISA. Misa, na, na, misa, misa, na, mas, mas. Bisaya kasi yung... <laughs> misa, bisa. Ta tama ito ba, misa? Tama naman, misa. Oo, oh, misa. Hindi, misa. Hindi, <laughs> misa. Misa, misa. Kaya nga, we are responding to 16,000 as percent of uh, business with the uh, COVID-19. and uh, approved and uh, inspected by our internal audit of the resident of the
tambak niyan para magkaroon ng pundo ang pagkisa. <coughs> uh, actually, there is no uh, strict or uh, what we call guidelines on uh, the uh, in celebrating a uh, Christmas party or whatever party anniversary uh, it's up to the concern of the uh, top management, especially the board, to determine what's approval and uh, what is uh, uh, okay for uh, the employees. Nakat na ako namin dito as listed is 11.12 million po yung uh, initially, pero palagay ko mas magandang tingnan na uh, nakat namin itong uh, uh, budget na ito. So, 6.3 uh, ay malaking bagay na po yun. Na hindi namin ginasto sa iba. And anyway, this, uh, I would like to emphasize that this uh, uh, fund na kinain po naman is not coming from the tax of the uh, people but from the gaming public. Mr. Sherman, can you make a budget of... Mm. That's not the reason. Yeah, yes, sir. But, but uh, we still uh, exercise prudence uh, those expenses. Mr. Sherman, with the budget of Senator Pacquiao, uh, just in addition, I, I beg to disagree with the statement of uh, General Balutan that there's no guidelines requiring uh, parties. There's no guidelines. There's a code of conduct for public officials. There's procurement law. You cannot just say, you may want to choose a hotel. Dapat may quotation yan, may process yan. And you cannot say, frugal yun. Because the president himself, uh, hindi na pa party sa hotel. Nagkatiyan nga kami ng ASEA, ang pagkain namin, kapiranggot, tapos ang PCS. So whether you say it's charity, nag-hotel kayo, uh, I beg to disagree. Uh, from yun ang yun nagbigay sa pare, Mr. Chair, illegal po yun. Yung claim na frugal, walang procurement guideline ito, may we hear from the poor. Diba may guideline niya? We cannot choose, choose any hotel. Uh, those procurement processes, okay, maybe we can be enlightened. May canvas yan, may process yan. Hindi pwedeng sabihin na gusto namin itong hotel na ito. Hindi pwede yan kasi as government officials, we should protect uh, every process and spend. Diba? Kawan, can you clarify? Uh, first of all, in, in regards to disbursements, we are guided with the, the COVA circular on the prevention of IUEE, which is irregular, unnecessary, unconsumable, excessive, extravagant expenditures. So that we have a guidelines on that. Well, in, in addition to that, uh, Senator, <coughs> kung gusto talaga nila ng party, hindi naman kailangan sa hotel. <coughs> Di ba? Kailangan sa hotel. You cannot say frugal, simple, and yet sa hotel. Maraming magagandang uh, uh, lugar na hindi naman kailangan sa hotel na mas quality ng food, mas sarap. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The reason why your party doesn't sit well with the Filipino people is because the very nature of your mandate is charity. Pagkatapos, manalaman nila, no matter how much you spent, sabi mo nang hindi 10, 10 million, 6 million lang, pero charity yung mandate niyo. Pagkatapos, nandun kayo sa Pub Star Hotel. Yun ang dahilan kung bakit nagkaroon ng controversy. Siguro, kung halimbawa ang 10 million talaga na gasos niyo, pero nandun kayo sa halimbawa, basketball court, siguro nang masyado mapapansin eh. No? The very nature alone o yung venue mismo, yun lang controversial na eh. Okay. Thank you. Uh... Sige. Thank you. <laughs> May I ask that po, uh, what's your opinion of this uh, uh, 6 million, more than 6 million na nag-access ng, ng 6.2. 6.2. Uh, 6.3 yeah. uh, 6.3 um, Ano yung opinion nyo? Ano yung comment nyo? Ano yung masasabi ninyo dito sa sa pera na ito na nag-aspos? Your Honor, our audit is not based on opinion. It will be based on the documents that will be presented to us. So as of now, those documents are not yet in our custody, so I, I cannot say anything yet about those disbursements. But rest assured that once they, these vouchers and these documents are submitted for us uh, for audit, we will make the necessary action in accordance with our mandate and with, in accordance with the COA guidelines on this disbursements. Uh, is that uh, normal or na parang ganun na ang ginagat sa 
tapos ng isang uh, ayun sa so, an- Your Honor, uh, as, as what I've said earlier, we have a uh, circular on the prevention of unnecessary extravagance and uh, ano to, excessive expenditure. So, we will look uh, into those expenses in accordance with that guidelines. Okay, thank you, Your uh, Honor. General, um, <coughs> siguro marami naman po sa mga yung alam niyo yung mga po sa last na lang with the budget. May po a guideline, di ba, sa Christmas party na you're only allowed to spend up to 300 pesos. Is there a guideline? Uh, uh, when I was governor, meron akong ano eh, na naalala niyan. Government-wide COA guideline. Uh, you know, 300 pesos budget per employee for Christmas party. Whether may allowance or the whole package. Uh, please check. Huh? Uh, we will look into that. Thank you. Um, General, marami ng mga, maraming mga concern ko sa ito. Dapat uh, narito tayo para iya. Uh, yung pag-usapan kung ano mga problema in the legislation, kurit natin yung pagkukulang natin, especially yung uh, uh, pag-astos ng sopra na wala naman sa sa patas, wala sa guidelines natin. So, siguro, especially kung wala pa yung wala pa kayong uh, guidelines about uh, expending, uh, especially this uh, Christmas party, uh, you can recommend siguro sa, sa board ninyo o uh, ng rules, mag, mag, ano ka ng rules para alam ng taong bayan kasi yung pera na ginabasos dyan galing sa mga mahihirap na tao. So I hope you uh, 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 digging action of that. And next question uh, about this uh, PCA for guarantee letters. Um, sino po bang nag nito? ito? Um, what is the policy of PCA so for the issue of guarantee letters to hospital and giving financial assistance. Gusto po nating malinaw yan, maklaro uh, para sa taong bawan. Yung yeah, uh, sa parang piloto, it is being assessed by <coughs> our uh, charity sector. We have uh, 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 una muna po at pumunta ang ating pasyente po sa any advance of the PCSO 63 branches nationwide and we have 57 uh, partner hospital nationwide then po yung PCSO yan ang um, second hihingi po naman is the uh, uh, medical abstract then yung final billing from the final billing uh, imamines po yung as the coordination with other agencies yung pin health po yung senior citizens discount yung other medical insurance we do not cover uh, uh, room rate and also yung uh, professional fee. All others, kinakategorize na naman from A to F yung pasyente. Meaning, at ang invite ka, you are categorized as F. Uh, maaaring uh, 100% po yung mabigyan na naman. Pero pagka A ka, meaning may pera ka, at may kakawinan ka, mga siguro 40 to 50% ang mabigyan sa iyo ng PCSO. That's how we uh, issue guarantee letter. And every case, uh, medical case, meron po itong uh, katapat na bondo. For example, if you have open surgery, you can do it. Okay, how, how, how much the, the max, maximum? Uh, uh, less, than, uh, less than a million. Uh, yung pong, uh, yung sector ay nag, uh, nag-analyze nun. And then uh, the last uh, thing is, uh, I will sign the guarantee letter as processed uh, by this you are uh, charity sector, then above 1 million, ito, ito na po yung mga transplant kidney, uh, mga mahal na po ito, inaabot ng 7 million, although 1 million, God na po ang nag-decide, it's not me, uh, because, uh, uh, collegial body na po ang nag-decide ito. May I know, for 2017, how much uh, guarantee letters uh, you, uh, in financial assistance, have you uh, spent? Magilang yung uh, guarantee letters and how much uh, financial assistance uh, you have spent uh, on 2017? Uh, <coughs> uh, for 2017, is uh, 8.08 billion pesos for the uh, uh, IMAP. Uh, well, 7, 7.8? 8.08 billion. 
That's for 2017. That's 2017. 2017. Okay. Because based uh, some. Pag-research sa uh, PCS has been given guarantee leaders and financial assistance up to 1,000, uh, 1.5 million pesos each uh, to certain uh, privileged uh, individuals payable to high-end hospitals. Meron po kami uh, uh, listahan dito. Uh, is, that, is that work? Uh, siguro po dati yun. Know, pero as far as, uh, you know, we partner with hospital even uh, St. Luke's na yan o uh, Makatimab o uh, kasi ito lang po minsan na nakakagamot yung ating mga pasyente especially if you're only three uh, transplant uh, capable hospitals St. Luke's, the MKTI and uh, the Medical City so hindi po natin naiwasan yung ating mga pasyente na pumunta doon but uh, on a limited basis ito yung process po ng kanilang mga, mga application so in the case of uh, one point something uh, million, it's approved by the board. Uh, ito na po yung malangating uh, catastrophic uh, ano to, uh, cases uh, like transplant na po, tsaka ng uh, heart surgery na ito. Hindi pa uh, ang binibigyan natin ng tulog is yung, yung mga mahihirap na tao. Um, binibigyan natin ng financial assistance yung guarantee leaders as yung mga nasa charity ward lamang o uh, sabihin natin uh, uh, semi-private rooms uh, tama po ba? Correct po. That's why when you apply for uh, assistance from PCS uh, tinanggal po namin it automatically disqualified kung ang isang pasyente ay naka uh, nag, nag uh, rent ng room ng deluxe o ng deluxe so uh, private yung automatically disqualified. Uh, kaya nakikita namin po yung uh, mga ibang uh, nag, uh, nag, uh, nag accommodate sa charity work. Uh, yan po. Kasi ang gusto ko yun, pagka nandun ka sa Dilox, uh, maybe 5 to 7,000 uh, a day yun uh, per na per run. So, disqualified po namin yun. Okay. Um, you might not know or you know of this uh, uh, I have people, uh, so many people here uh, records na nakuha ko na you're giving uh, the PCSO um, giving guarantee leaders to um, simple sa mga may, may mga kaya okay, especially kasi concern ako dito this is because we are talking about the money of the people para sa mga mahirap uh, para makulit lang natin makulit lang natin kasi yung mga tao nandiyan sa harap ng PCS o oh, ilang araw na yung iba yung iba walang kain uh, na baka sakali yung iba ma, kasi ang katop ni Yorata na hindi o'clock in the morning maghintay ng pang o'clock pag hindi na ano ma doon matutulog sa harap ng ng PCS o oh, matutulog doon tapos minsan iba walang kain ma, maki, maki ano lang tapos inyong ng tubig <coughs> nararamdaman ko kasi yung nararamdaman diba nararamdaman ko na Dito sa record ko, um, para makurik lang natin to para hindi na ito mangyayari uh, general, makurik natin, ma ma mapatakbo natin ang government natin ng tama. Kasi dito sa record ko, St. Luke's, uh, mm, uh, to, uh, St. Luke's Hospital, uh, mayroon pa tayo itong uh, The Medical City Hospital, Asian Hospital and Medical Center, Makati Medical Center. Uh, dito, lumalabas, I will not mention the names, lumalabas na, na 1.5 million, itong mga may, may pasyente na ito, 1.5 million, naka, naka, tapos private, sabi mo nga, mahirapan pa sila sa, sa semi-private, pero dito, ang room nila, private. Uh, mga mahal, 1.5 million. So, uh, marami, marami ito. Kaya so, gusto ko lang na, alam na, Alam ko, ang puso nyo, um, tulungan natin yung mga kababayan natin, yung mga mahirap na kababayan natin. Kasi, yung iba dyan na natutulog sa harapan ng, ng PCA so General, alam mo, 5,000 na makuha, kung ilang araw sila, dito yun nga, ilang araw sila nakitay dyan, matulog sila doon, malipasan ng minsan, malipasan ng gutom, tapos makakuha sila 5,000 lang, 10,000 lang sa PCA so. But this, 
uh, people na nandito sa nakana sa record natin may mga kaya ito eh. may mga may mga uh, I won't mention the names because marami yung names dito may mga kaya ito eh. hindi kaya lang siguro uh, puruin natin mabuti yung ano eh hindi, hindi yung napat dahil kilala mo dahil kilala natin o may kakilala ng tao natin tapos may kaya naman hindi na natin basta-basta uh, sabutin yung uh, Kasi ito nangyayari kasi marami para marami ako na 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 nasagap ng mga balita. Nagkano na nangyayari. So ano 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 masasabi niyo dito? Ang malaki po ng uh, yung kung kailan po yung taon po yung 2017 at uh, 2017 libre transplant ng it's authorized by the board kasi ang libre transplant ay nagpapatuloy yung uh, yun po ang This is a uh, private room. Uh, uh, sweet, ito na sweet, ito hindi ito. Um, hindi ako nga hindi ito sini uh, private, hindi ito sini private, kundi uh, sweet itong mga uh, rooms ito. So meaning, itong uh, mga pasinti na ito may kawa. So siguro, you might not know this, uh, kasi yung mga tao nung baka magpipresenta ito ng ano, uh, ito tulungan natin ito, tulungan ito, hindi dapat ganun. Kailangan talaga yung, yung qualified, na mahirap talaga at nangangailangan at marami tayong mga napanatutulog po sa harapan ng PCSO na dapat natin talagang yun ang tunan natin ang pansin at tulungan natin. Kasi ang tumatawa sa PCSO, alalahanin nato ang tumatawa sa PCSO, yung mga walang perang tao, yung mga mahirap na tao na isang kahit isang tuka para lang kung baka ma- ma- masortihan sila, tumama sila, may mga ano sila. Iyon dapat at ano natin na, na huwag natin na You may not know this, uh, this uh, issue, but uh, narito na rin yung tayo uh, in aid of this solution para makulit natin kung ano yung mali ng ating ahinsya because I believe you, I believe you na gusto mo rin ng pagbabago, gusto mo rin ng uh, tulungan ng mga kababayan natin, then uh, whatever um, mistake that we, we make in the past, I hope, I'm hoping that you have to correct that and especially uh, uh, this issue of uh, Christmas party and then explain the lavish uh, Christmas party and then explain the useless uh, ano, yung mga events. Um, I-correct siguro natin yun. And then, um, <coughs> pwede ba naman uh, may record pa kayo nito? Uh, Marami din ang show will have a record journal. Uh, but I would like to react on the uh, kung maraming pilang who have extended our services to the Indian Center of the Philippines. Uh, hindi na po from uh, Monday to Friday but we extended that to uh, from Friday to Saturday without overtime pay. Uh, because yung volume po ng ano, uh, pang pasyente, nag-dobre na po as from 350 to 415,000 po uh, naging pasyente natin all over the country. We are averaging Center. You wish to say something? Yes, Mr. Center. And in addition, because we, uh, we understand the sentiments of uh, Senator Pukyaw, in addition to extending the, uh, the working days of uh, our uh, Lung Center office, we institutionalize the ASAP desk. Yung ASAP desk ko natin sa mga, sa mga hospital ko, naglagay na ng desk ng PCSO. Ibig sabihin, hindi na ho kailangan pumila sa Lung Center para makakuha ko ng tulong maring sa PCSO. They could go straight to the Yung, yung mga hospital yung mga accredited na ASAP desk doon na ipinuprocess yung mga medical assistance na hinihingi nila with regards naman sa mga private rooms we also institute, institutionalized here in the PCS nung mga pagka kasama sa billing ng pasyente eh yung uh, billing for rooms hindi huyat inaalis yan eh kasi ang nangyayari ho pata meron tayong pasyente na lumalapit humihingi ng tulong sa PCS o uh, kasama yung uh, well, yung, yung case po itong doctor sa saka yung billing. Ito pinapadala sa charity division natin or in which yung social worker natin we, we, we take out yung mga hindi pwedeng isama kagaya ng uh, professional fees yung, uh, yung kung may, may hospital doon pinapadal din no? it, it, it should not, it, it is not included doon sa binibigay ng tulong and PCS it does not show the, the, the entire amount meron lang yung amount na based on sa formula na pwedeng ibigay ang, uh, ang PCSO. Based on the record kasi uh, may 1.5, maraming 1.5, 1 million, um, 800, almost 900,000, 800,000, so 
something. Uh, thank you, Your Honours. Mr. Chairman, uh, GM Balutan is lying to Steve with the rich beneficiaries. Uh, I'm challenging him right now and I'm asking uh, Your Honours, Mr. Chairman, na isubi na lahat ang papeles. Kasi hindi man ako makakuha sa kanya ng papel dahil uh, ayaw niya akong pabigyan. So, ito po, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, being a member of the board, yes. are you not authorized to, uh, or uh, are you not given access to the documents? Of Only me, I think. Only no. me. I don't know that. Uh, board member or board director. Thank uh, you. We uh, inform documents that, uh, that I need that we, uh, we, we might be concerned departments or the GM to offer access. You're giving full access? Yes. I did. I did twice. One for the uh, STL uh, documents and for this uh, beneficiaries. Pero binuli nila ako. Akala nila mamimili para isa ko nila. But I'm for the truth and I'm for the people. Uh, Nagbigay siya ng memo sa mga AGMs na pag maghingi anybody who is unauthorized and I'm a part of uh, the board na kung sinang mag, uh, ano, hindi pag idadaan sa kanya. Twice, I tried, pero wala po akong nakuhang uh, answer. Are you and referring to this memorandum dated December 21, yes, 2017? Sir. And if I may read, ano? To all officials and employees from the general manager, subject proper release of official documents in the interest of the service and for proper control of official documents, all officials and employees are hereby instructed to refrain from releasing data, reports, and other official documents to unauthorized individuals without prior approval from the general manager. All requests for official documents shall be made in writing, addressed to the GM for approval. What is the basis uh, for this memo? Uh, actually, there are control documents, especially we talk about uh, uh, legal issues, business secrets, uh, intelligence. What business operations. secrets are you talking about? <laughs> uh, mga operations po namin sa... Why should it be secret or classified? Ang uh, nangyari po kasi dyan, uh, uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not referring to Ms. Sandra Kam. What is the basis of this memorandum? This allowing release of documents. Hindi naman kayo intelligence unit. Hindi naman kayo NICA. Anong classified documents meron sa PCSO na hindi pwedeng ma-open sa public? Yung mga sakit po ng ating mga pasyente. So, hindi pwedeng i-divulge yan. Kung may HIV ka po, hindi po rin sabihin. That's another matter. But this is all encompassing. Walang qualification eh. We have this at all, no? The following documents are not to be made available to the public. Can I read? Mr. Chairman, can you just add? The request of Director Sandra Kam is not for public consumption. It's for her requesting it on her capacity as the director. And if ever she violates that, that's her call. But as the person has to appoint you as director, I think you should trust every director here to get documents for the interview, sir, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Kasi sa puto lang, pinuli ako from day one nitong si, si GM Balutan. Nung ako yung nag-try sa kanya, nung makita ko, at may sumingit lang kasi sa akin uh, folder, my second day, uh, doon sa draft na 10, uh, 14 million for the Christmas party, I asked my, uh, one of my staff to get a border solution and apparently there was no border solution. It was a memorandum signed by the uh, by uh, the good general manager and it shows for 9.3 million yung sinasabi ng 6 million at mga ano wag na tayong magbulahan dito gumamit kayo you hide somebody from outside na para ayusin nyo ang uh, ano nyo dyan sa PCSO and uh, Mr. Chairman hanggang ngayon wala akong nakuha ni isang dokumento except for doon na nakuha ng ating staff na certified true copy nung uh, breakdown ng kanyang ng ating uh, aming lavish uh,
Christmas party. Nang tinanong ko siya over the phone with my secretary around here. Nang sinanong ko sa kanya, uh, Gia, meron pa ako ditong papeles, dokumento tungkol sa Christmas party. It's uh, quite malaking halata. Sinigawan niya ako over the phone. He raised his voice to me and he said, Sandra, that's a bad boy. Uh, dumaan niya sa, sa uh, board noong November 16 and for your information I'm the general manager, manager here I am the only one who can decide where and when nang nakiusap ako sa kanya na i-defer ang Christmas party because we have the orduha and then winter is coming in ang daming kalamidad ang sapat niya sa akin that's a bad boy So, the following day, that was our board meeting, and the chairman, the chairman purpose was there, I again uh, uh, brought up that matter, walang sumagot, so that means no. Sabi ko, then, uh, hindi pa ko pupunta sa Christmas party <coughs> as a protest to my part, dahil hindi ko kayang kumain ng masarap. Sinungaling siya na, na manok lang ni Sir Chairman at saka kung ano lang yun. It's a very lavish food at saka sabi ko, hindi ako kayang kumain ng masarap na pagkain ng alam ko sa Kabisayahan at Mindanao. Maraming kailangan uh, pamilya sa kalamidad. Pero hindi. Uh, ginagamitan ako ni Sir Chairman ng pagkahineral niya. Noong kahineral, now we are both the same. We're just member of the board. And you have to put that in mind. Itong nag-ano sa akin, hindi lahat ng empleyado mo kaya mong gamitin. May nag-feed din sa akin ng information. Mr. Uh, Mr. G.M. Balutan. And Mr. Chairman, ito, nung siya ay uh, nag-flag retreat, they ask all the uh, employees to wear red. I don't want to show you the t-shirt that he used na ginamit pa ng isang patang maliit para ano him eto po sir lalaki ka magpakalalaki ako babae ako pero lalabanan kita address the chair uh, Mr. Chair I want to put this in record I'm a woman with birds I will fight this general eto po Eskam, labanan ang Eskam. Ako ang nagiging nagano ng katarantaduhan ni Jan sa PCS o ako ngayon ng Eskam. And at the back, it's hashtag Ang, which is referring to Mr. Ang, and at binusot ito sa mga sa bata. Is that right, Mr. Chairman? Saan nang galing yung funding, yung pondo ng pambili ng How many t-shirts were disabled? A lot. He involved all the employees na magsuot. Ang iba naman, ayaw sumuot, napilitan, nag-jacket. Tony Suntay, would you know how much was he spent and kung ano yung source ng funds dito? Sorry, Mr. Sanchez. Hindi nyo na-reflect sa board? I have no idea. Yes. Is the chairman already a member of the board? Yes. Wala ako sa... Wala na-reflect sa board. So, GM, balutan. Anong source ng funding nito? Oh, we don't know. We don't know. He was he was also wearing the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's on the video. Yeah. I, I know that. Is there something wrong? Is there something wrong about that? If there is something yeah. wrong because I know it's a new I know person in the town of Sajan. I know one of the president. Uh you know this would have never been a lot of town. Bother party to you and my people. Mr. Chairman, I just want to inform this honorable party. Binuli nila ako sa kanyang nakulumabang sa mga hiniral na sila ulo. Pero pag hiniral na matinok, ay dyan ako, saludo ako ng saludo. Pero pag kurak ka ng hiniral, patay ka sa akin talaga. Just a moment, sir. With the indulgence of the your honours, gusto ko lang iano yung sabi ni Congressman Elway tungkol sa Camarines Sur. Look at this picture.
pictures. Ito, wetting na wetting ito. Ha? Ito sa Pangasinan. Denyber ko ito sa kanya at huwag kang magsinuwali ulit dahil hindi ito pa rin. May ginawa ka ba? Nang ako nang tayo ay nasa board. Ang biniblay mo ay ang PNP. I was What did I say to you and to Mr. Corpus? Don't blame the Philippine National Police here because it's our system. System ako ang malik dito. Ang dito ang police. Magro-raid. Ang nire-raid. Ayun, bukis na bukis ha. Nakikita na ng police. Di ba? Ang mga mga police. Nakikita na. Bukis. Hindi nyo ma-charge. Kung ma-charge nyo man, dismiss. Why? Dahil nakasuot ng PCS or ID. Ngayon, Mr. Chairman, ako ngayon, anytime, pwede ako malis ng PCS o. Hindi dapat ang PCS o as, as an agency ang dapat sisihin dito. Ang sisihin dito yung mga kurok na katayo ni Mr. Balutan and Mr. Purpose. Sila yun. Huwag wag kayong magturok sa mga PMP dito. Dahil sistema po natin. O natamaya pang ito pa, binigyan nyo ng ilang muna ng polis. Paano naman, kantay ng polis? Pag nyo mong patarig ng mga ganitong mga pictures, ito sa pangasin na ito. Pero may ginawa ka? Wala kang ginawa. Anyway, PNP, GIDM, kindly submit to the committee yung list of cases that you are, list of ways that you have conducted, list of cases that you have Uh, five and pursued in court, how many uh, were dismissed, your cases, at ilan yung nag-prosper? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Sir, can we see something in line with the uh, issue? But, and uh, b before uh, I, I uh, recognize you with your indulgence, uh, would you confirm, lalo yung mga regional directors, ano, hindi yung mga bago, would you confirm yung, uh, yung handicap ng mga police sa pagre-raid na every time you conduct raids and effect arrests, hindi kayo makapag-file ng kaso because they're wearing PCSO IDs. So in, in effect, parang uh, cover. Kasi I've heard this from a lot of policemen eh. Ito siya ang problema namin. Mag-raid yung mga tao namin, nisan nakakasuhan pa. Anybody from the, uh, from the PNP? yung mga dating regional directors na. Ma Ay, sige, ikaw. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm talking in behalf of uh, my former position sa DDO, Deputy Director for Operations, wherein we conduct oversight committee meetings every week. Uh, what, we, what we do is to all complaints, all cases uh, regarding PCSO and AACs are being monitored by us. And that's true, sir, na... Uh, pag may nahuhuli, uh, here comes now the AACs presenting documents. Uh, Pagpasensyahan na, wala pang inform. Uh, Nagaroon sa lang reasons. Boy. Sir, in uh, Calabosa, sir, uh, I confirm the, you know, sir, the incidents that uh, the persons who have arrested are wearing ID, you know, sir. Or ba, PCSO, and uh, most of these cases that have filed were already dismissed. Uh, other regions? Region 5. Ito ba yung Region 5? Ito yung DRDA. Ah, wala. Mga PDs present. Kamsor? Yes, Your uh, Honor. The same experience as what uh, our my seniors uh, have said. Ah, uh, ikaw, wala pa. Sige. Uh, so, I will uh, speak uh, when I was the uh, regional director of PR07. We have the same uh, problems. If we will arrest uh, the reported illegal uh, gambling, when we arrest them, uh, they will show their IDs, but when we verify them on the uh, master list, because it was there now required to submit yung uh, names of the uh, agents, coordinators, but sometimes wala yung list, wala sa list, and they will uh, set, hindi pa raw updated. 
So the problem goes on if ever na nahuli at nakasuhan the policeman will be charged because of that ID. So ang um, policy ko sa doon rather than charging them then, no, is just to uh, make a report to PCSO that the AAs is involved in illegal gambling and for the PCSO to take the appropriate action for the uh, uh, deduction on the cash ban kasi it was stated in the IRA but the problem sir matagal sir yung action Romy, you used to be uh, director of Eastern, di ba? Yes, sir. Do you share the same experience? Yes, sir. We have the same experience. Even in 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 Pangasinan, sir. Nag-level up doon, sir. Naging bookies. Yung sinabi nga ni Ma'am Sandra, there is a presence of bookies. Ang predicament nga lang doon, sir, pag nanghuli is there were IDs and even certification to that effect that they are authorized agent. So there's unanimity, di ba? Para-paro yung experience. So we have a big problem at hand. And as raised earlier by Congressman El Rey, PCSO seems not to be doing anything about it. Ano nangyayari? Pagka may problema ng ganito, PCSO ay tuturo PNP because sila law enforcement. So bugbog na naman yung PNP. Siguro, by now it's very clear that ano po, na doon sa mandate ng PCSO, doon sa presentation nila, sinabi nila two things. They raise revenues and use that revenue for charity. But how can they raise revenues properly when the government is defrauded, when all the police here have mentioned said that illegal ang nangyari ng operation under the guise of STL. So malino po, GM, Balutan, we have high respect for you, but please, you have the power. It says in Dayana, you have the power to automatically suspend the vote. This is pre-pondering to the evidence. Ah, malino. Then dun sa issue po, Chairman, dun sa pag-disbose ng charity na minensyo ni Senator Pacquiao, apparently, may really, may malinaw na lack of fiscal management sa pera ng gobyerno. Nagbibigay ng pera sa simbaha, naglalavish party. At gusto ko lang isahit dito sa record ng Tony Sector, mas malaki ang anomalyo sa PCSO. Na sinahit ng COA, na 2016, nagbigay kayo ng mga bonuses, over 500 million pesos, Mr. Chair. Sabi ng COA, 518.314 million was granted to officials and employees. 503 million was for payments of allowances, bonus, and other benefits that were not supported by legal basis. 2016, sabi ng COA, the PCSO's 2016 pay package to its officials and employees includes the following Christmas bonus, 451 million, education and assistance bonus, 123 million, grocery bonus, 71 million, weekly draw allowance, walang duty, 60 million, hazard pay given to non-public health workers, 27 million, revenue performance incentive, 23 million, Despite the fact, Mr. Chair, na meron ang prior disallowance the previous year na 1.3 billion, nag-dispose pa sila ng 503 million. So, tapos nagparty pa sila ng lavish. So, parang si Mr. Chair, may problema po sa PSSO na napakalaki. In terms of raising revenues, disposing. At malinaw mo. Again, to the police officers, will you confirm that most of the AACs are prone to gambling lords? For a region three, all, all the regions, di ba? Marami yan, fronts ng gambling lords. No? Nakalagay lang sa, sa, uh, sa corporation documents, names of persons. Pero actually, ang talaga may ari, gambling lords, di ba? Because, paano mag-proliferate yung butis or yung, uh, yung uh, tama, yung butis, yung gorilla, kung hindi gambling lords yung nasa likod? Uh, sir, uh, at uh, Calabarzon, sir, uh, we have initiated a series of dialogues with the uh, AAC and the uh, field uh, personnel of PCSO, sir. And uh, one of the issues uh, raised by the AAC, sir, uh, yung mga management nila at the city and municipality, sir, although they are on records, uh, employees, 
sabi nila sir, uh, hindi daw nila makokontrol because uh, these people are recommended by the local government executive na ang loyalty daw sir, wala sa nila. But uh, I, I give them uh, answer, uh, suggestion na pagka uh, may violations, bakit hindi nila tanggalin? And uh, some of the ACC in Carabarson, sir, have responded to this recommendation. May mga natanggal na sila na, ano, sir, na operator sa Seaton Municipality. Sir. Robin. Sir, uh, <coughs> Chair, ang indicator na naman dito, sir, is this. Napakadali, sir. Eh. Yung mga tao nga ni ACC ay dating kubador ng wedding. So. Talagang front ng gambling lords, ginagamit lang yung AAC, yung contract nila with the PCSO as front, as cover. But actually, yung gambling operators of the old, you know, yung mga antigo ng mga gambling operators, gambling board, sila pa rin talaga nag-operate. And PCSO knows this. If you tell me that you don't know about this, then you're fooling me. Kasi alam nyo naman kung sino yung kausap dyan eh. Alam nyo rin na nagigirila. Alam nyo rin na binubukis. My question, my question to you is, how do you do your due diligence ba? Paano kayo nag-due diligence doon sa mga nag apply as AACs? Alam nyo ba kung sino yung mga members ng board, ng korporasyon? A case in point, somebody text me this, ano? Laguna. Ram Lloyd. Alam nyo ba kung sino yung Ram Lloyd? And there's a violation here, ha? Because Ram Lloyd, short for husband and wife, Ramon, and Lloyd at Presa. Si Ramon Presa is now the mayor of Chaong. Now, COA and probably GCG, mga lawyers. Hindi ba bawal makipagkontrata yung government official with the government? Conflict of interest, di ba? So, taro sa piseso, anong due diligence ang ginagamit ninyo para malaman kung sino talaga may ari nung, nung uh, outfit na binibigyan nyo ng kontrata? Mr. Sir, can I add to that? In Camarini, sir, even Shans used to operate under PCSO until 2012. They were stopped for illegal gambling as of 2012. Pagdating na naman ng 2016, but despite the fact na Disney qualify sila ng PCSO, i-add, Sila, inawipe pa rin sa kanila po, Mr. Chair, na dati nang identified as a gambling lord, uh, illegal gambling, inawipe pa rin na. So, tama po kayo, Mr. Chair, in the sense that uh, ginagamit ang PCS o sa front, and the people behind uh, these companies are really gambling lords. In Camarines, for all of you, even chance, public knowledge ang initial raw, BP. Eh, alam niyo na kung sino yung BP na yan. Uh, again, against the dami law yan, nang dami lang yung mga director. Public knowledge po yan sa Bicol kung sino may ari. And yet, PCSO uh, chooses to have a blind eye and their fears towards these accusations, Mr. Chair. Jen, you, seems to be, you seem to be, are you still feeling your way in? Do you still want to proceed as, uh, no, no, chairman? Gusto mo pa mag-chairman? I'm still observing uh, your honor, and uh, I was talking with my classmate that the failure really is more on regulation. So we'll talk with the board on, uh, and uh, conduct vetting on those who did, uh, did not uh, uh, commit to their PMRR. And uh, you know, we are just a political body. You are a collegial party, but it seems that the all the powers move on as a GM. As a GM, sir. And, uh, That's a fact, yes, sir. That the board is actually helpless. Uh, not not really uh, helpless in the uh, true sense of the word, but the power is really as a GM, who is also a member of the board. Yes, sir. But so, uh, uh, that's why... Uh, 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 I don't know if I'm not going mas astig si uh, Chief Superintendent Pinili kasi chairman eh. But, Pero hindi, uh, ang talaga siga talaga dyan yung GM. GM uh, because he's the one implementing and he has control of the 1,000 uh, more or less uh, personnel of the PSS, BCSO uh, operation. So it's provided to by according to... So would you recommend na pag... Uh, Ginawap na namin itong bill, yung final draft, bigyan natin ng power yung board 
balik natin yung power sa board. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a former military officer. Yeah, so, we should be one commander. So, you know, uh, if there's another in charge subordinate with the chairman, so it's really, really a problem of coordination. So, uh, maybe they say there's a wisdom, maybe of the one in charge should be the chairman. So, and the, if, we, if the UN fails, can recommend for his replacement. So, uh, I'm just... Uh, but of course, you have to talk to us yearly. That answer is in the GCG. How do you evaluate GCG, please? Anybody from GCG? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honours. Uh, with respect to the selection nomination process, all uh, appointed directors for uh, board of directors for the GOCCs or government-owned and controlled corporations undergo our process. So for PCSO, for example, uh, there are five, um, uh, six appointed members, five members, and uh, one GM. The general manager is also the uh, a member of the board. Even number. Diba no problem? Who will break the tie? Um, Sa board, PCSO. Sa ngayon, lima kayo, pero dapat anin? Lima lang. Yeah, yes, 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 lima. Pero sa charter ninyo, anin? Hindi, lima talaga. Lima ko. Lima talaga. Yes, please proceed. Yes. So, under the charter, there are five, then uh, separate kasi yung general manager. And uh, with respect to the selection nomination process, uh, they are qualified by, by the uh, fit and proper rule initially. Then for the subsequent uh, reappointments, that is yearly. So, uh, there is a performance evaluation for directors for uh, re the re reappointment process for this uh, board of directors. So, annual siya. And uh, actually, ang GM is, uh, we cannot say na GM is about the board, since actually the board, uh, the board members elect the CEO from among themselves. So, uh, after ng ano, pwede actually sila mag-elect ng GM ng bago if... Uh, they are allowed to elect from among themselves. Since That's the reason why when the president uh, makes an appointment, hindi naman sinasabing GMA, di ba? Yes, yes, sir. Member, yes. yes, and then it's up to them to select or to, yeah, to elect their, uh, their chairman yes. and the GM. Yes, Mr. Chairman. But in practice, siyempre, nakabulong ngayon kung sino yung GM, sino yung chairman. Chair, can we, uh, no, uh, with your indulgence, uh, can we ask uh, uh, a few questions to uh, PCSO Chairman? Because, uh, Chairman, uh, based on the preponderance of evidence I've presented, based on the testimonies of the PNP, <laughs> based on all the discussions, we've been uh, talking about this for a few hours. For example, in Camarini, sir, I've raised eight strong grounds for immediate revocation of even chance an authorized AAC nagpapataya sa bata hindi nagmimit ng PO walang grounds po yun na uh, ano uh, ano bang stand nyo hindi ba dapat automatic revocation na yan uh, and I'm, I'm just today today old uh, na according to my uh, partner here no but uh, we, we, will, ano, we will uh, ano? we will uh, decide and, and, and for the revocation I, I go back to my previous question can the board do something? Yes. 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 Uh, I could contrast the GM. Yes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Senator, uh, Congressman uh, William Fuerte. Uh, we actually, uh, well, kami ni kasi ni uh, Director Sata, we only assume last December 6, I got through of that letter. Maybe I was copy furnished way back, uh, I think, no more on December 17. Uh, but rest assured that we will uh, take it up in the board because the, the board has a... Uh, uh, has supervision and control over the AACs and we could, uh, to, to the, the board, to the deci decision of the board, we can cancel or suspend the, uh, the operation of uh, the AAC. We had a hearing in the Committee on Games in the Congress December 11. GM Balutan was there, including officials of the PCSO. And they said that you were going to have a board meeting sometime 13 on 14 of December. And I understand this was discussed. So, uh, it's already January 25, 24. 
Uh, siguro dapat na decision na to because kawawa ang gobyerno na dead fraud and illegal gambling talaga ang nangyayari. Yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, through you. Well, uh, I was not invited in the uh, December 11 uh, congressional hearing, so I have no knowledge that... No, but uh, my point is you have a board meeting on December 13. Yes, it was not discussed. Are you sure? Because the GM Balutan committed in the on, under oath that you will discuss and raise this no. issue. The, the issue was raised that uh, there were questions with regards to the operations of uh, Evergreen. Even chance. Uh, every, even chance. Yes, yes. It was uh, it was raised that uh, it was a subject of the uh, congressional hearing. So, Mr. Chair, may I ask, assembly ask, ano, ano, uh, fully documented with affidavit. There's nothing more to investigate except to verify the documents. Uh, what was, uh, ano nakatapusan po? So, well, uh, Mr. Chairman, what we could do is a uh, formal based on the complaints we will request the, uh, the board secretary to include it in the agenda so that the board can act appropriately to either suspend or cancel Next it. board meeting, when? January 31st. 31st. Yeah. I want to say something. Uh, Mr. Chairman, rest assured. Next na board meeting dito, kahit ako tapunan pa ng ano ng GM Balutan, ilalaban ko to. Dahil ito ay pera ng mahihirap na dapat bumalik sa, sa mga mahihirap din. At saka, kitang-kita na po dito with your indulgence, uh, Mr. Chairman, kitang-kita na ang conspiracy between the general manager and the gambling lords. Wag yung sabihin na hindi niya alam na itong mga, mga uh, franchisee ng STL ang nasa likod nito ay gambling lords. Tell it to the Marines. Eh kung ako, ako alam ko kung sino... Pwede ko lang kung gusto. Pangalanan ko nitong gambling lord na nag, nagpuprotekta sa kanila. Challenge me, GM, and I will tell you, You go ahead. It's Bel Pineda. How many franchises Bel Pineda has? O, oh, ilan ang franchises ni Bel Pineda? There were, total. ang total niya 16. Out of? Sinasabi niya 92, 93. Hmm. Ang isa pa. Name the provinces, the areas. Uh, Bulacan, Pampanga, Camarines Sur, Nueva Ecija, uh, Bataan, Zambales. Hindi, marami na yun. Andiyan, uh, hindi ko na alam kung ano. Bibasahin ko pa ba isa-isa, pero alam niyo na. Okay. Ang Sorsukon, sakay niya din. Pinaglulog ko tayo dito. Ang ating ano dito is yung anti-corruption campaign ng ating mahal na Pangulo. Sabi niya, stop corruption now. Ay, itong PCSO. Mabuti na lang dumating si General Pinili. And I have a heart on him. And I will give it help. Nung unang paso ko dito sa PCSO, matigas itong dalawang, dalawang mga general. Akala niyo, kaya niyo ako pulihin? Aba, kaya mo kabulihin, Mr. Chiam? Ah, uh, Ms. Cam, on order. Anyway, <laughs> sir, sure, I just like to add. Gusto so, ko lang ma-educate uh, further, ano? Magkano dapat talaga yung pumapasok sa PCSO? Based on what you know, yung, uh, yung operation ng... Uh, halimbawa, sabihin na natin waiting. Kung waiting muna, wala muna itong mga AACs. Magkano talaga yung dapat papasok? Actually, yung yes. 1 to 5, including car... Ngayon nag-expand pa hanggang Visayas. Magkano dapat? Kasi ang sinasabi niya, ang gross is 1.7 billion. So, magkano dapat yung pumapasok? Of course, these I are all expenses. I think, sister, ang matakasal. Yeah, 6 billion. 6 billion na per month. Estimate ko. Maluwag yung 6 billion per month. Maluwag dahil sa 200, 200 daily. Pareho rin itong, yung pagtinotal itong uh, kanina yung binasa ko, monthly easily, nasa mga 6.05 billion. No, as against the 1.7 billion. Mano so, man. what will PCSO do about this? Kasi kung ganito yung alam natin potential na nawawala, between 1.7 and 6 uh, bi billion, magkano yun? 4.3. Yun ang hindi natin nakakapture. Dahil sabi nga ng PNP, whenever manguhuli sila, bukod sa kakasuhan pa yung mga tao nila, merong ID. 
At pag hinanap nila yung, uh, yung listahan ng mga personnel ng AAC, sasabihin sa kala hindi pa naka-update. Naayos pa. So, simple ang solusyon. Pero ayaw natin gawa ng solusyon. That, that's the issue here. And here we are, we're trying to craft uh, legislation. Lalo malilegalize natin lahat ito pag uh, hindi natin na-plug yung loopholes this early. That's what I'm saying. So, board, members of the board, do something, do something. The question is, the bigger question is, can you overrule the GM? No, in reality. In reality, if if the, the board, let's be frank uh, with each other. If the director, which is three of us, four, four. and uh, the chairman, we can overrule the GM. Because, ni yung dapat na malaman, Mr. Chair, ang tulungan nyo kami. Kailangan ang iupo dyan ng GM. And again, GM Balutan, I'm not interested on your seat, nor the chairmanship, because the president has his own order to me. Okay? You have to use your head while I'm there. Alam niyong maingay ako madaldal. Why the president puts me in here? I'm not interested of your seat, but I'm interested of your corruption. And I'm asking that sana ang ipalit na general manager hindi yung incorruptible. Pare-pareho tayo nasa gobyerno. Isa lang ang, isa lang ang ating appointing authority. The marching order of the president is to do good and protect the charity fund. Baby niya yan. Nagagalit kayo sa akin, bakit nung pagpasok ko, masyadong malakas ang dating ko sa inyo, na gusto niya akong buri. Nakalimutan mo yata, Mr. Gian Balutan. I fought 10 years ago with a general incoming ngayon. Ano siya? Uh, nag, ano ba tawag dyan? Yung nasa service pa. Lumapan na po? Ikaw wala ka sa servisyo, hindi kita lalabanan. For the benefit of the, uh, the uh, advocacy of our very own loving President Rodrigo Duterte and for the people of the Philippines, kahit patayin niyo po, lalabanan kita. Elroy, yung point lang na-mention yung si Bong Pineda, I think in Camarini, sir, he is the operator because uh, bago nag-operate yan last year, pinatawag niya mga mayors. And if he's really not mayors of Camarini, sir, so if he's not the true owner of even chance, ano naman ang papel niya, role niya na papatawag sa mayor, uh, mapapa-operate raw siya. And uh, this is against the dami law. So dami po yan, at nakalagay sa IRR, bawal yan. <laughs> But kung talagang i-reiterate ko lang, Mr. Chair, kung talagang gusto natin tinuhin to, sundan nito yung IRR. Ang mag-bailay, tanggalin, mabayad ng band. Imuti, hindi yung palagi sinasabi, imbisigan, mimitingin pa. Then, pangalawa, Mr. Chair, bakit ang loto centralized ang system? Ang ticket uh, galing sa POS, alam niyo agad. Ang pagbola, transparent, nakikita sa TV. Ang mga stasyon, ina-apply ng mga uh, ahente kung saan. Tapos, uh, dito sa STO, bakit hindi natin gawin kung gusto talaga natin pigilin yan? ba? Diba? Dapat transparent ang bola, nakikita. Tapos, sabi nyo, may PMRR. Bakit? Sundin nyo yan. Kung hindi sundin nyo yan, huwag nyo natin antayin ng isang taon. Huwag nyo nang sabihin po na provision. May kontrata eh. We are awarding you this uh, permit to operate based on PMRR. Nag-violate. Palitan. Maghanap ng marunong at hindi mandaraya. So, yan lang po, point Mr. Chairman, in aid of legislation. Kung talagang gusto natin tamahin to, kaya po ng PCS o yan. Hindi yung sabi nila, STP, STL will stop our weapon, pero lahat ng procedure weapon. Salamat po. Sige. Yes, sir. Huwag <coughs> mong sarada na. First of all, I would like to submit this... Uh, records uh, all the incorporators and officers of all uh, AACs, uh, we can verify. I understand you were permitted with these copies. For example, in uh, Ramloid, uh, they changed the incorporators. Uh, iba na po yung naman ito. Uh, kaya, 
second pa din sa transparency. Pero, maski palitan ng pangalan ng cooperators, incriminating na nga yung Ram Lloyd eh. Apa? Uh, I think... Uh, uh, So, Mr. So, Chair, yung even so, nakisa nyo ng illegal gambling mo na na yung 2012 eh. Di-disqualify nyo na. Bakit yung sila pang binigyan nyo? I mean, sabi na nga uh, ni ano, si Ma'am Gano, Galuyo ba yun? Gabuyo, ang doon, na ang board raw ang nag-decide na i-grant despite na-disqualified sila. And sino yung board nun? Kayo po, si General Corpus. And uh, bakit yun yung right disqualified? Tapos, Pinasira na nun ng PCSO based on illegal gambling activity. Tapos pagkupo ni General Corpus nun, sabi niya yung mga dating nag-operate ng STL, mga mandaraya yan, mga gambling law yan, they defrauded the government of billions and yet the same company who defrauded the government was awarded the AEC and for almost one year they continue to defraud the government. What is your stand, Mr. Chair? Thank you, Bob. Yung uh, na. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, um, ano ko lang itong comment na yung pinakita kanina, kung bakit emotional kami ni Ms. Sandra, kung nakikita nyo naman, talagang bugbog sarado kami sa, sa power na binigay sa kanya ng Presidente, ginagamit niya pati sa PCS, so nakikita nyo naman. Ang itsura niya, gin, ginagawa niya kami, ginagawa niya kami scam, pero siya itong napakawalan niya, titignan niya. Kaya pinapayuha ko yung classmate niya na chairman, baka pag nagkasakit siya, kukunin, titirahin nga hanggang dyan. Noong una, magkakampirin ng ulit ko, magkakampirin ng una, galit siya sa, sa STL eh. Noong una, kinamayin niya ako. Tapos nung magkasakit si, si, si Corpus, bigyan sa kanya natin kapagtanggol ng ano, kasi siya na kumuha ng pera eh. Ganun yung story niya, impossible. Eh, noong una, impossible na nung nagkasakit yung isa, siya sumano siya, natin kapagtanggol. Dati ang sagot niya sa akin, nakurat na ng kabilangan. Isip niya yung sagot na yun. Tapos yun, tinitira na kami ni, ni Ms. Sandra. Tapos tingnan nito ha, ang haba nila pinag-uusapan tingnan nito ha, kanina pa yung nasasalita ng charity-charity. Eh, ang luwan nyo dito, ano ba, ang mandate nyo is charity lang talaga. Eh, bakit nakalagay dito charity pang 30%? Ba't nagbibigay kayo ng charity sa municipality o ulitin ko nila, sa Congress, Provincial Government, sa CIDG, Police, Police, CIDG. Eh, paano nyo yung auditing nyo sinong masakit dyan? Ang tama niya sa kapit, hindi niya umahin niya sa iba mo. Ang tawag dyan, charity o bribery. Para na maka-operate ka. Pati mga prostitute, wala nga eh. Tatanggap kayo ng pera sa mga gambling mo, mas ka-idea niyo. Anyway, kindly respond to the question of Congressman L. Ray. Nadikyo na raw, bakit na bigyan pa rin ng lisensya? Ah... Talaga ito ang uh, naging uh, patakaran o uh, pamantayan is yung experience po ng uh, no, na Hindi pwedeng palagay ko kasi kayo tatloy na sa board eh. Ah. Yung yeah, corpus so, uh, at saka si uh, Marlon. So, hindi pwedeng palagay ko. Meron kayong decision sa board yes, sir. na in spite of the disqualification, siya yung nabigyan ng uh, award. Yun ang tanong ni... Uh, There is this uh, SMG, this STL monitoring group. There is the uh, subgroup uh, that deliberates all the uh, uh, pertinent documents and applications of the uh, AEC spot. But who finally approves? We are all yun nga eh. Okay. Dinisqualify nyo sa board, pero meron pa rin uh, na-awardan pa rin. Yun ang tanong niya eh. Why? Di, pasagutin niya rin sa so, chair. Sabi niya, experience, experience, ako ito. I understand that uh, maybe uh, kasi ganyan ito po ang gusto ng ating pangalaman all the illegal numbers came should uh, go through STL na yan so the generate name is STL na kanina po pinaliwanag ko na ma-voting ma ito uh, masyaw illegal numbers came should uh, mag-legal na lahat mag-legal na yung uh, hindi po siya mag-legal yun po will be uh, uh, the uh, we will apply the legal uh, action, uh, not the legal action. Those will not uh, enter into it. Ano, okay na yun. Kung bakit silang illegal. Nag-illegal po. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, po tayo naman. Uh, excuse me. Ang problema hanggang ngayon, hindi naman nag-illegal eh. Illegal na pa nga yung PNP. Uh, correct po. You heard your testimonies kanina, di ba? Yeah. Nagkaka-
Isa naman sila, wala nga yung kumontre. Mm. Easy experience. Mm. Illegal pa rin yung operation under the guise of being legal. So, uh, we are, we're not tolerating that and we'll go after them. Uh, we, okay. we, we, of course, uh, we can suspend yung licenses. We can help the uh, stakeholders in this area. Uh, it's like uh, young law enforcement, kami, I know, uh, medyo may butas pa yung IRR, kaya nga isang taon pa lang po kami, uh, we will, uh, yun, so, so, sure, uh, can you say something? Wala pong butas yung IRR. Napakaganda ng IRR. Kung susundin lang po. Ngayon, sinabi niyo na on record. Kaya inaward din niyo dahil may experience sila sa wedding. Okay. This, that is questionable. But sige, for the benefit of the doubt, yung illegal may illegal. Pero as of today po, illegal pa rin eh. Pinakita ko na yun, nagpapataya sa bata. Legal pa ho ito? Ito yung pataya na ito? Legal ba ho ito? I mean, this is not a PCS or prescribed uh, restriction. Diretso yung tanong na lang, will you revoke the license of even change? Even chance bond? Yes. No. Based on will you revoke it? In the next board meeting? Uh, yes, uh, we will send that to the board. Uh, no, uh, the board, board. Okay, we're asking you already. We'll ask you. Mr. Balite, what will you do based on the uh, evidence as presented? Yes, sir. You yes, will revoke it. Okay. Sandra. Very much. I will uh, move attorney. Yes, Mr. Senator. This one uh, evidence was presented. Chairman. Uh, yes, uh, sir. And uh, based on due process, we should also hear, notify him and yeah, hear his Of course. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, uh, Mr. Senator, board member. Yes, uh, I concur with the chairman. <coughs> due, uh, with due process. The chair would just like to add uh, how yeah. long will be your due process? <laughs> Uh, as of, uh, sir, and uh, before the, we will present it to the board the result of our notice and hearing. I would suggest a general review of all the AACs na lang, you know, and find out in consultation with the police yung mga violations, especially yung mga glaring violations. Let's not focus on uh, even chance alone, you know, kasi kung merong mga Sabi ko nga, parang uh, microcosm yung nangyari sa Kamsur. And it appears, eventually, ganun talaga nangyayari sa abang lugar. So I think there should be a general review of all these uh, AACs. Mr. Chairman, uh, yes. uh, dagdagan ko lang uh, sa, sa sinabi ng ating uh, Chairman, siguro lahat ng mga permits ng uh, ISTL, siguro muna natin and then gagawa tayo gagawa tayo ng uh, guidelines uh, kasapin natin yung kapulisan because uh, PCSO uh, wala kayong enforcement arm no? not like uh, not like the GAB na meron din meron silang enforcement arm so siguro bago natin mag, bago tayo magbigay ng permit doon sa STM uh, Siguraduhin muna natin yung uh, uh, enforcement arm uh, natin na ma-implement ma ng, ng uh, uh, mabuti pagka may mag-direct ng uh, rules and regulations sa, sa PCs. So, siguro yung mga, especially yung mga operators na dating illegal and then maging legal, uh, ang gagawin natin is sa... Uh, uh, kailangan siguraduhin natin na, na wala maging illegal. Like this uh, issue na sa Camarones or at uh, hindi lang siguro dyan, sa iba pang lugar. No? Iba pang lugar, uh, especially doon din sa, da, doon din sa Jensen. Ano? Sa Jensen, uh, general, kung, ano, hindi lang kasi doon ang ano, may, may ano din, nakatago din na, na ibang uh, games din, hindi lang yung STL. So, siguro, uh, action na natin yan. I suggest na i-book muna lahat ng uh, steel permit and then um, gagawa kayo ng guidelines with the board and the chairman uh, para ma ma maayos. Uh, I just want to, uh, uh, before I, I, I end my uh, suggestion, uh, I just want to remind everyone, the board, uh, chairman, uh, general manager, all 
other members of the PCs or uh, give this uh, um, what the Bible says if a house is divided against itself that house cannot stand if a kingdom is divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand so isa isa lang kayo dyan kung ano yung problema sa tingin ko kasi million million tao nanonood sa atin nakikinig sa atin ngayon for me it's not good in in now in an agency uh, na lahat kayo magkaisa lang magkasama kayo lahat hindi kayo nagkakasunod nag uh, nag nag aawawa ko nag nagkawatawa tayo paano niyo ma-implement magampanan ang trabaho niyo sa isa't isa especially ang ang itong PC so napaka-important importante no napaka-importante ng uh, ng ng papel ng PC so sa pagtulong sa mga mahihirap na tao yun po ang dapat uh, dagdagan yung sinabi niyo na quote sa Bible magsama-sama kayo sa kabutihan Mr. Chairman, yes, if I if I may, Mr. Chairman, well, uh, why not the way in the suggestion of Senator Patel? But uh, we, we also have to consider that uh, automatic when we report nothing. Seventeen billion is generated annually. Maganda huli yung sinabi ni Congressman Elway. There's an I I I R R. Which the only thing that we have to do is implement it. Dahil magbago huwag kami dito at kaya na ngayon pa lang natin na realize lahat nito. I I think dahil sa panganaobserba natin, what we could do, implement it. Yung mga ACC sa nagpapayulit, then we suspect or we suspect or we vote them. Pero itong outright to nililipat natin lahat. Yes, which is sharing line with the search for the number to pull naman natin. Hindi. Maganda yung point ni Senator Pacquiao. Gusto ko lang tanungin po in aid of legislation. Kasi ang stand ng PCSO po, hindi na rin nila kailangan ng mayor's permit. Sa kamarin ni Sir, yung mga mayor nag-file sa court, pini-RO. Sabi ng court, kailangan ng mayor's permit. So may, meron na po ang armas ang pulis na hulihin sila <laughs> dahil walang mayor's permit. Sa ibang probinsya, hindi ko alam kung anong ginagawa. Mahigit sa taong piyesto kung binabasa ang Republic Act 1169, wala po ditong nakalagay na exempted kayo. Uh, in aid of legislation, sabi nyo noon, may Supreme Court decision, bibigyan nyo kami ng kopya, hanggang ngayon wala. For the record lang, ano ba ang stand nyo? Kailangan ba ng mayor's permit o hindi? Because ako, we strongly believe na kailangan. Then, dapat linawin nyo po ito kasi yung walang mayor's permit na nakarinyo ng January, pwede ipatigil ng pulis po yan. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, yes, Your Honor, and uh, I confer with the members of the board that we require them to have mayor's permit because uh, in my experience, no activity in the city or municipality if there's no mayor's permit. So uh, that's my so first time. Mr. Chairman, that is a 360 ton from the previous position of the PCSO. In our hearing December 11, sabi nila, hindi kailangan. So is that a policy now adopted by the board? Is that official? Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, right. But if you are, if that is your stand, you should uh, mag-issue na kayo ng memorandum to all AACs asking the mayors for a permit. Kasi as of now, they're still operating with no mayor's permit. And as the issue raised by Senator Hunasan earlier, kung gusto niyo ma-stamp out to, involve niyo LGUs. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chairman, what we could do is during the board, the, uh, the board meeting, we will take it up and uh, if, if, the, the, if there is a unanimity among the board or majority decision, then it could be a policy that all the ACCs will be required to secure a mayor's permit before they open. Yes, that, uh, that, uh, uh, that's a problem, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, in, 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 uh, in my place in Jensen, na they are operating without uh, informing the LGOs, walang permit sa LGO, hindi man lang pinalam sa kanila, nag-operate na sila kaagad, doon nagka-problema. Uh, 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 I'm not saying na uh, nag-oppose ang, ang uh, LGO dahil illegal, no. Nag-oppose sila dahil hindi man lang nagpaalam. Siguro, uh, if not necessary to book all the permits issued to the, this, uh, all the operators, Maybe uh, the board um, will uh, convene and uh, gagawa kayo ng, ng, ng uh, guidelines na all the uh, operation of STL uh, sa lahat ng sa buong bansa, kailangan nilang magpaalam sa LGO. 
kasi alalahanin natin mayroon din tayong mga uh, mga panukala na sa iyo kanya-kanyang uh, kanya-kanyang uh, city, province, munisipyo, may kanya-kanya din silang mga panukala na ginagawa para kabut para sa kabutihan ng lugar nila. Para maintindihan natin 'yan. So, I think uh, what we need is uh, permission or permit uh, uh, from LGOs to to operate is still in their places. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Yes, the president of the suggestion he sent back on like uh, what the Congressman Elri uh, suggested earlier. What we will do is uh, we will deliberate on it and, uh, and require it. Kagaya ko nang sinabi ni Senator Latson, magandang kakampi ng PCSO yung mga LGUs in monitoring illegal activities. So that uh, yung uh, requiring the AAC to secure a, a business permit from the LGUs before they, they operate would be one step In conclusion, you know, because it's already uh, past one o'clock, I'd like to think and I'd like to look at the three of you as a breath of fresh air in the PSA. And please don't fail us. Kasi kung ganyan ang situation, mukhang ang gulo-gulo at saka mukhang wala, walang sistema eh. So ngayon, full complement na yung board. Eh, palagay ko, may mangyayari nga uh, something positive ano, in the near future. Okay. Mr. Chair, uh, with our new leadership, Chairman uh, Pinili, uh, rest assured, sir, na ako po, I, I'm a team player, I'm a good soldier to you, Mr. Chairman, at uh, wag lang tayong hahaluan ng mga corruption dyan, at alam niyo naman po, ako ay nilagay dyan para magbantay. At uh, again, uh, for GM Balutan, ilagay niyo po sa isip niyo na hindi po ako nag-aspire dyan sa upuan mo. Ikaw lang ang nagsasabi. So ngayon, uh, nationwide, I'm saying that I am not interested to get your seat. Mag-ayos ka lang. Pag-ayos, tigilan mo yung corruption dyan. Magkakasundo tayo. Because now, ngayon po, ako, Mr. Chairman, Ikaw lang po ang nagpa, nagpalambot ng aking puso nung ako'y tinawag mo. I feel that you look like a father to me. Unlike dito sa dalawang general, si Corpus at saka si Balutan, na agad niyo akong pinuli na miscalculate mo ako si Ian Balutan. Yes, sige. Hindi tayo matatapos dito. I've been in the military service for seven years and four months. Uh, impeccable for uh, I have never asked anything for any uh, anything uh, from anybody. Malinis po ng tinig servicio. I was plucked out from uh, even when I'm active member of the armed forces three months before my retirement. Kinuha ko ako ng presidente. Mayroon po. Day one pa lang dun sa aking uh, pagiging uh, general manager last uh, 2016, I tried to uh, protect the image and reputation of PCSO uh, hanggang ngayon. But uh, pagka nakikriticize ang PCSO, because I now belong to the family of PCSO, ay eh, sumasakit po ang dog ng ating mga empleyado sa siya mga maling paratang. Uh, Wag sana po akong uh, i-chat silence ng gusto because I've been there in many battles. I've uh, survived more than 50 combat encounters and four ambuscade. Uh, uh, hindi po tayo iba dyan. So, that we will never experience by anybody. Uh, yun lang po. At uh, masakit ang gawag ko pagka ganun na. Uh, if you have something na uh, kinurakot ko, you can file any cases in any court. I will handle that. Yeah, claro, claro. Anyway, on that note, we will... Is it for enforcing 30 seconds? Sige. Hindi, ano lang po, let's take the example of the President. Si Presidente na ipa-appoint sa inyo. Si Presidente, rumor of corruption ang dami niya nang tinanggal. DILG, si NIA. Ito, malakas po evidence siya, hindi lang sa Kamarin Sur, all over the country. The President has set the example. Let's just follow the example he wants to... Everyone to follow. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Before you yes, close the hearing. 
I just want to remind everyone na our goal is to uh, fulfill our duty uh, to serve the people, especially this uh, PCs or agency. Malaki ang rules na ginagampanan dito nito dahil uh, may hirap na mga mga Pilipino ang, ang tinututukan natin dito. I think uh, how can we serve the people kung tayo ay divided, no? Uh, kung ano man yung mga problema, siguro ano lang yan, misunderstanding, uh, miscommunication, uh, siguro kailangan pag-usapan uh, before we uh, uh, help the people or fulfill our duty as a, as a servant of the people, I think we should fix first the problem inside uh, what I'm, you know what I'm talking about um, well, ano yung, uh, I'm sure kayo naman may mga puso din kayo lahat tayo may mga puso na ang pagmamahal palagi nandyan no, we have to serve uh, with harmony, uh, unity uh, uh, toward to solidarity uh, that's, that's uh, very clear na mas maganda kung may harmony solidarity ang isang ahinsya at, at tingin ko marami ang matutulungan, maraming makinabang at maraming mga mga mahirap na tao ang magiging masaya lalo lalo na kung kayo ay nagkaisa so that's all uh, Mr. Chairman Mr. Chairman, last point po I just want to ask uh, Jen Balutan ano ang polisiya ng pagbibigay ng um, uh, financial assistance or guarantee letter sa mga mahihirap na nag, nag uh, ano nagpipila nakakakuha lang 5000 maximum 20000 at saka itong mayayaman na nabibigyan ng millions yun lang po sir bago bago tayo mag up uh, in the next hearing because uh, while i said i hope this will be the uh, last hearing mukhang kailan pa natin ang maghiring uli after your uh, board meeting uh, 31. come 31 January, di ba? So we'll find out kung ano yung uh, pwede pang mga masubmit na mga documents to aid our uh, legislation process. So with that, I'd like to thank especially the Philippine National Police. No? Alam nyo naman yung kalahati ng katawan ko, nandun pa rin eh. So, and I just hope na yung board uh, will work in harmony. And sabi nga kanina, patungo do sa kabutihan, di ba? Hindi yung pwede mag-away basta ang aim lang is mabuti. No? Basta basta yung away din. You know, I can just imagine how you meet as a board, you know? <laughs> It's a chairman, it's a promise. Uh, chairman uh, Pinili, you will have your hands full, you no? Know? And I hope you can uh, play your role uh, very well, no? As the uh, yung conductor and uh, para mapag, mapag-harmonize at uh, mapagtulong-tulungan na mapaganda yung PCSO. I promise, uh, Your Honor, and I'll be a good conductor to produce music. Thank you. <laughs>